Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Dapper D's. I'm Dippy. I'm Dadley. And I'm Dono. And welcome to the Dapper D's, the only show where one of us didn't wear eclipse glasses when they were watching the sun today. Dadley! Who could it be? Turn around. Yeah. You're facing the wrong way, bud. The turn, turn the route the other way. Turn around. 180, my, my dude. My headphone, my headphone wire. Oh, you I can, can just go. You're completely... And welcome back to the Dapperties. How is everybody good, doing today? <laughs> welcome, no, I'm doing good. How you doing? Welcome yeah. into a special edition 100 episodes of the Dapperties. Concludes 
today. Well, this is yes. the 100th episode. I, we've done 100 episodes. A hundred of these things. I can't even hardly friggin' believe it. This is incredible. We started this Ooh. like a little more than two years ago because we were bored and wanted something to do on a Monday. <laughs> You're yeah. not fucking wrong. And just and it's turned into one of the greatest friendships I've ever had. Yeah, absolutely. Agreed, my guy. It's one of those Fuck. things. One of those things. I'm just so happy that we were able to do something. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Honestly, and we've turn. been through a lot in a hundred episodes. We've we had have a lot of growth and change, and fucking like we shit, have excelled yeah. as people. Yeah, we have turned we are... into diff better versions of ourselves. I and I would I would uh, agree, my friend. Yeah, technical absolutely. quality of episodes has gone up. Um, you know, like quality of concept of episode has gone up. We've had a lot of anniversaries that we celebrated recently. We celebrated the an we yes. celebrated the anniversary of the show. We celebrated the end of the second season. We celebrated, uh, and now we're celebrating a hundred episodes. Pretty and soon, a month start from of now. Next, yeah, the, start, um, in the beginning of next month is fucking. No, it's the anniversary of the channel. It's the it's yeah. the four year anniversary of the channel itself that we run ourselves on. So much to be celebrated and so little time to celebrate it all. But Yay. we have a more impressing matter today, fellas. Yes. As you may know from our uh, uh, our Dapper Discussion podcast, we do a little recurring segment that we like to call the Dapper Draft. This the Dapper Draft? is the da, 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 da. mega Dapper Draft of things. We'll explain that in a minute. Let's go through some shout outs and sponsors. Um, Dadly. Yeah. I have found myself in quite the pickle recently. Oh, okay. Uh, I, What's going on? I'm having a lot of trouble, like, staying awake over the course of a day. Like, I'm just losing energy in the middle of a day, and I just I just need a pick-me-up. And I've tried a bunch of I, other things, and they're not I helping. might, I might have something to help you. So, this channel is sponsored by a product named W.GG. W.GG, motherfucker! <laughs> Get yourself some fucking dummy, buddy! Use the code ANYPOD, that's A-N-I-POD, at checkout and get 15% off. Get yourself some fucking energy and get that sweet fucking ripping pump. Continue. W.GG. <laughs> I'm not having a problem staying awake anymore. <laughs> Not fucking wrong. Okay. <laughs> W.gg use code any pod for fifteen percent off any purchase. <laughs> oh, oh, that felt like Babe Ruth calling a shot. I texted Donald immediately. And I, didn't <laughs> I was actually planning on doing that anyway. That was good. All right, good. I'm glad. Same brain cell. <laughs> uh, and then what's the music okay? today, Dippy? Today. So we usually we're in a uh, transition period for music a little bit. Uh, we're trying to get uh, set up with our old people, the people that we were working with before. Um, but in the meantime, we are listening to stream beats on Spotify. It's a it's a uh, an album label by a artist by the name of Harris Heller. Uh, they claim to be the number one free library of DMCA free music for streams and YouTubers. Uh, you can, uh, they have a website at streambeats.com, but we are using their Spotify playlists, uh, Spotify playlists and albums of DMCA free music because we're on Twitch now. The one thing about moving back to Twitch is that we have to be a little more careful with, uh, with music and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> um, check out Stream Beats by Harris Heller on Spotify. Uh, we are listening to the Neon album today, uh, or at least right now. I might change over to a different album here if we're feeling a different vibe. But, uh, yeah, it is a fun, it is a fun thing that you it's can a vibe. and use for yourself. Yeah. Um, I... Ooh, that kind of sounds better. Cherry soda? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Ooh. So this is cherry soda. Donald's about to start dropping bars. Indeed. 
Oh, and uh, in case you in case you didn't catch on uh, in the last episode that was put up on the YouTube channel, Happy April Fools, uh, we've had oh, this yes. idea. We've had this idea for lunch for a while now, and uh, that was the result. So yeah. please, that episode is now changed over to its proper title and stuff and everything, and you can go check it out on any pod on YouTube. Um, yeah, which we are still posting full vods to every time we stream. Uh, yes, I think you need to finish up the details for D twenty Detectives episode two, but I'll do that post there. stream. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we've got other things to focus upon. Yes, yeah, I have a hundred things to draft. I uh, yes, we do. Uh, what was the last thing I was gonna say? Um. So you're watching the Monday. You're watching the hundredth episode now. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Donald. Yes. You're hosting Crossroads again. Yes, correct? I am. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Uh, our main D and D campaign. We left on a cliffhanger last time. Uh, and then. Yes, we did. Yeah. This past Friday we did Inquisition, but this next Friday we're not going to do Inquisition. Uh, yeah, we're back to the, the bi-weekly schedule. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. gonna be back to the bi-weekly. Makes me feel at home. Yeah. Yes. So that reminds me of home. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our schedule coming up. Thank you to W.GG. Thank you to Stream Stream Beats. Thank you to the schedule. I think that's everything yeah. covered. Uh, there we go. So, without further ado, welcome to the welcome dapper, to more ado. The, the dapper draft of things. So, <laughs> the dapper draft of things. What is the dapper draft? But what is a thing the Vsauce music would play here if we were allowed to? We, we got so specific. We made so many rules. Because that, like... we have to. That's what makes this tolerable and fun. Because we're going to argue about it if we don't come up with the rules. We will still argue about rules, but that's what audibles are for. So, we have our main list here that we're going to be working off of Can for the episode. we get sponsored by Audible? I don't know if you still can. I'm not entirely sure, but we have a list of rules and to make sure we are all paying attention to this list, we're going to alternate between reading each one of these rules. So I will start, Dadley will go after that, D Donna will go after that, and we will cycle through that way until we have all gone through all of them and we all understand. So, okay. a thing is defined here as such. Every dude gets a large warehouse. I give the longest one to Donald. <laughs> oh, I'm reading? Okay, yes. a large warehouse. We're taking turns. Like We're popcorn. taking turns reading them so that we are thousand all- thousand square feet or uh, about 5.7 acres or about six football fields. This is to make sure that we're all paying attention to this list, Dono. Yes. All right. Every I am thing, paying attention. Each thing <laughs> must be real. Each thing in the warehouse must be small enough to fit in it. Each thing must be bigger than an American penny. Each so thing- you can't have dimes. No, you actually can't have a dime, I, weirdly enough. So I can't fit in that bitch, because I'm a dime piece. Oh, shit. <laughs> each thing Donna, must you be break the scales. Each thing must be specific enough to pass the eye test. Now, what does that mean? That means if we look at it and we say, eh, you can't yeah. just get cheese, okay? You yeah. <laughs> you can't just get Even though cheese. America you does have, have a shitload of cheese. Yeah. It's you need to be more specific than just, I want cheese. All right, deadly. Um, yeah, being too generic is penalized by the other dudes on a per thing basis. So like if Dippy were to say, I draft cheese, me and Dino could say that's way too generic. <laughs> You're getting a slice of moldy ass cheese. Exactly. Dino. Um, being too pendentic, pedentic, pedantic, 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 pedantic. Uh, is frowned upon, but acceptable. Which means that if you are heavily arguing in favor of why a thing is specific enough, then you can, but we're not going to like it too much. Okay. Conversely, each dude can be as specific as they want when drafting a thing. So I could say... Um, so I could say a number two pencil, or I could say, uh, 
uh, Seth Rogen's number two pencil used in the filming of The Hangover Part 2. Like, I could just say that. And that's, like, super specific. Flag on the play. He wasn't in that movie, so that's not a real thing. It, it was just an example, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I had to come up with an example on the fly. I'm sorry. All right. Exactly. Go Everything on is discussed on a per thing basis. So, like, saying, I want M&Ms, that's pretty on board of, okay, you have a pack of M&Ms. Mm -hmm. But if you say, I want ducks, that's a little more. What are you fucking, what kind of grouping is that? How many ducks are we talking? Are you talking a flock? Are you talking just a pair? Yeah. Turtle doves? <laughs> <laughs> no trades, or we'll be here forever. You can't trade picks. Self-explanatory. It's not happening. You, ca you can't trade picks. This is not the NFL draft, which is coming up very soon, by the way. Oh, can we remove this next rule for comedicness? When a I was thing thinking about this. <laughs> when a thing is drafted, nothing else in its category or general field can be selected for five rounds. So, see, when I, I came so, up with this rule, okay. when I came up yes. with this rule, I had one very specific intention in mind. That if you are drafting, <laughs> if you are drafting a, a bunch of things in one list, you have to be careful about what you are about what picks you're making and when you're making them because if you bring something up and then automatically it brings it to mind something that the other two dudes can select you can't go into like emergency overdrive mode for continuing something in that category by saying like, oh, I want a set of blue sparkly dice. And then all of a sudden we're on the sparkly dice train. You can't immediately use your next pick to get your next favorite color. You have to live with the consequences of those, or you have to try to get them off of that subject with a different pick. But if we oh, wanted to change right. that So I kind of shot myself in the foot. I, so my, I'll just, I, this was going to be a little bit of when we get into it, but I'll reveal it ahead of time. Sure. I set up my entire list. I'm the only one that wrote a list. These two are going off the dome. I wrote mm -hmm. an entire hundred things list. That's kind And of I incredible. have mine organized as I am taking you through a tour of my warehouse. All of these things are here. All of these things are here. You know what? That's not bad. I kind of like is, it. That could be an audible. I didn't think about it. Okay. That could be All an right. audible. Uh, Dadly. Uh, things cannot be alive. Living things cannot be uh, sent. To oh, that's what it is. Fucking yeah. living things cannot be alive. <laughs> living things cannot be sentient. Uh, and they have caretakers. Just so you can't draft people. You literally you are not allowed people. to draft a person. That's called slavery. It's frowned upon. It's illegal. <laughs> it's they're uh dono nope. concepts are not things drafting a concept is liable liable to be punished with a shitty thing selected by the other dudes based on the concept so if you say you want to draft time that's a concept you can't draft the yeah. concept of time we'll give you a broken alarm clock if you yes. want to draft time but you can't draft time uh, now the most specific part, <laughs> which we kind of thought of a couple weeks ago because we were talking about this ahead of time, obviously. Dadly. I need to stress, I just ignored this making my list. I was like, I'm just not <laughs> no. going to have employees. No, I'm like, I made, went out of my way to make sure nothing I drafted had employees. Okay, but uh, just Each dude starts with a salary cap of $5 million. If you draft a thing that requires an employee, money is taken from the salary cap. Uh, by a semi niche Unanimous. My, unanimous. My dyslexia hates when words get siphoned <laughs> like that. Uh, dude vote, which is basically just if you draft something that needs a person there to work on it. Like a hot dog it, stand? The person who, The person who works the hot dog stand is going to be paid out of your salary or, cap. Or you can say, I just want the stand. I don't need anyone to work it. You can also specify that, I suppose. That's part of being specific. And last yes. but not least, Dono. Drafting a large, not complicated thing like a fully functional business that takes up more space in your draft to account for equipment space exp expenses. So if you draft a food court McDonald's, 
you're gonna need equipment for that McDonald's. You're gonna need people working at that McDonald's. You're gonna need the material to make what that McDonald's makes. So instead of taking yes. up one draft slot, it takes up like three, four, six. five, yeah. six, however many. And that also yep. falls under the uh, the, the five, the, yeah, the, the money thing and the, the category yeah. general field five rounds rule. So if you draft a thing, uh, five rounds go by with that same pick in your backup bank and you can select from that category again because of that. So strategically, you could select a bunch of those kind of things in yep. a row or you could just not do that because it's complicated. So that is Without, all for our written it. rules. And we have one more thing before we do the actual Oh, drafting. yes, we have to figure out draft order, and I have no dice we, there. There are two more things we have to figure out before we start drafting. So I'm going we to have D &D our beyond. names. We have our names up here i'm gonna rearrange them as needed when we figure out this draft order i'm gonna use merc's character sheet to roll dice merc don't fuck me but things is a very merc. broad things is a very broad category a lot of things can fit into a lot of different places in a lot of different ways so overarchedly I have a theme for my large warehouse that we have been given for this draft. As as do I. And hopefully as does Dono after at least a little bit. Dono will come up with the theme once when he gets rolling. Dono will come up with one. So my warehouse... Good at winging it. <laughs> my warehouse is going to be a museum of things that I find important to me. Uh, I want people to come into my warehouse and the things that are in it signify important aspects of my personality, important memories from my life, important things, important things to me, things that, things that I want to own, things that I want to, at one point in my life, see for myself or experience for myself. And I want to share in that with uh with the other people who happen to visit my uh my uh large warehouse so my yes. draft is going to be my museum of me and well, dadly i yeah my draft is basically my version of rob deardex fantasy factory i saw that the second we brought up a warehouse i'm like i don't want to just fill the warehouse with stuff i want to be able to like like chill and use this warehouse as my space. This is my warehouse. Like the hundred and one item is, oh shit, I own a warehouse now. That's just excited. Like, yeah. That is pretty, so. yeah. It, it is assumed that the warehouse is yours before this draft go, uh, uh, goes yes. underway. So this is my warehouse. I'm putting yeah. weird shit in it. Exactly. Uh. So we roll for draft order and we go I in front to back draft. Yeah, we're just doing front to back. Make life easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I got a 13. I got a 2. I got an 11. So. Oh, shit. Dadly, Dadly you will first. have the first pick of each respective round. Uh. So, do boop. And then do that. And then do boop. There we go. What? And I think that fixed it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that fixed yeah. it. Oh, almost. Yep. The amazing uh, cheese vault. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> More so. There we go. Slightly thicker line there. There we go. Good. All right. Like I said, my whole draft I have written out in front of me, and it is a tour through my office space my warehouse so without further ado you walk in and you are immediately greeted by a authentic new york city bodega i need to stress no food no employees it's like a movie set of a bodega it's just a vibe i'm vibe hmm okay. we're kind of we're kind of running into 
Kind of running into a wall right off the bat here, Death. <laughs> an authentic bodega. Ow! An authentic bodega. It, it's Wouldn't tiny. An authentic bodega. How? What is a bodega? <laughs> like it's and, just. It's like a little like grab and go shop. Like a Seven Eleven. Like a convenience store. Yeah, but like half of it. <laughs> like half of a convenience store. <laughs> it's They're bigger tiny. than like a newspaper stand. It's yeah. Like it's a newspaper, newspaper stand. Newspaper stand in a Seven Eleven. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But again, no employees or anything like that. Like a movie set of it. It's just a vibe. It's just like a, hey, welcome in. This is weird. Like. Authentic New York City bodega. Oh, I have to. Oh, crap. I have to change the font of this first row because I rearranged everything using it. Uh, Here we go. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh -huh. There we go. <clears throat> An authentic New York City bodega. Hmm. No employees, huh? No employees, no food. If you want food, I can go to the grocery store before your visit. Like, I don't care about that. Like, it's just it's just like a hangout spot. It's just we're inside a bodega. I feel like it is like still... the entrance. It's like the mud room. I feel like that's still gonna take up like one more spot just because it is. No, you know what? I'll allow it. That's okay. I think this I think that's fine. With no employees. Yeah. With no, no employees, no food, no like stock. It's just the vibe of a bodega. I will I will use an asterisk to imply that there are no employees. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fair enough. That's fine. Yeah. We can move on. So number one thing. Highlight centerpiece of the museum as you're walking in is probably best saved for later. Like this, yes. is, this list is written backwards. This is a yes. list of from 100 to one of the most important things. Like, because if we draft the most important things up front, then we're just going to get bored by the end of the list. Is Absolutely. The, so, uh, you are, so there is a little bit of strategy to be had in, in uh, there is a little bit of strategy to be had in saving like bigger name, bigger ticket name brand things for later because they are more important to you as per the order of the draft. But getting stuff out of the way, knocking stuff out of the way would also, also be, important. not yeah. be frowned upon here. I am going to go ahead. Uh, We're not ranking these. This would be a good way to say it. We're not yeah, ranking this these. Rank. This is the hundredth. This yeah. is the first. Like yeah, this is are, just... Yeah. Yeah, this is this is not a ranking of how important each of these things are to us. It's just we're going in reverse order so we don't get bored. <laughs> yes. So first things first, I got to have me a uh, a a uh, I don't remember a -A what exactly what it's called. A -A it's called a uh, I believe it's called a Red Magic Cinema 4K uh, like film camera. There's a really specific kind of body. Oh, you want a red? Uh, uh, let's see. So, Red is a digital it's camera an extremely company. Good, yeah, it's yeah. it's really good. It's one of the, like top of the lines. A especially uh, when it comes to like movies and stuff. Yes. Like filming for movies. Yes. Um, like fucking what is it? Uh, Is it Nikon? Red... No, it's not Nikon. But like, there are certain ones that are good for like photos and such. But red is one of the best for. Uh... Yeah, a red Komodo X digital camera body. Mm -hmm. Okay. It does so much, and it's also so like contained. Dippy, your name disappeared. Let's figure ah. it out. Wait a second. There we go. Ah. There we go. It's going All to right. disappear and reappear as because the the size of the font is going to fit very nicely to the top oh, and bottom, but okay. it also but it also means that it has to expand the top and bottom okay. ever yeah. so slightly to accommodate yeah. me typing All it right. out. All right. All right. So Donna. So the name of mine is going to be Dono's Vibes. So it's shit that Dono's vibes, vibes with just me. just a vibey spot. Yeah, it's my it's the vibes that I get or like that I like like. Um, my first one is gonna be a nineteen sixty nine Cobra Mustang. Oh okay. With Fuck the blue yeah. paint and the black stripes. 
Okay. We don't have to put the paint, but. <laughs> Woo. Okay. That's that's a pretty good start. Good pick. <laughs> that is a really good. It's also shockingly similar to one of my picks that I was going to have later down the line. I am now scared. Oh, I have. <laughs> I, I will. I will give you guys a glimpse into the future that like. I have 10 vehicles on my list. I'm oh, going to have quite a few vehicles on mine, too. So just I, off you know, rip <laughs> at the at the end of this bodega, the mudroom of my uh, warehouse. It's like you are greeted by. A, I, oh, we'll get to that. OK, <laughs> uh, you are greeted by a bookshelf. This is just kind of like the 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 bookish shit that I wanted. The knickknacky vibes uh, and the first one on my bookshelf is oh no i'm like you have to draft the a bookshelf if you want books are you fucking kidding me what <laughs> do you want a bookshelf full of books or do you want this is I the dapper draft of things dadly the this warehouse is empty to start with okay where are your I lights how are you gonna use that camera <laughs> I was going to draft lights. I was going to draft lighting kits. I'm not. No, get rid of the fucking bookshelf on that list. The shit was sick. On the shelves of the bodega that has no stock. Sure. Go for it. Uh, first edition uh, book of Dungeons and Dragons. Like, uh, okay. First, do you want the book? Yeah. Or do you Dude, want, this like, is the pamphlet. writing this, first Googling this was book? difficult. First edition. A, a first edition of the first edition. First edition D &D. copy of yes. D and D one E book. Yes. Good way to say it. That's a yes. pretty good that that's a pretty good pick. Oh, excuse me. Good lord. D and D one E. Controversial in the tabletop gaming space, but yes. it's fine. I like but it. But as a history piece. Just as like a, it is as a, a look at that piece. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So what class are you picking? Elf? Okay. Ah, D and D first edition where elf I'm a was a magic class. user. Thank you. <laughs> where elf I was am a class. fighting man. Or <laughs> I'm a, I'm not a fighting man. I'm a magic user. Okay. All right. Sorry for the little <laughs> tiff there. That is that is a bit. Of, you're good. This, this no, you're good. This is this is the draft. This is the draft. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> when you said you were walking past the bodega towards a bookshelf, it was like, okay, I see where this is going. There's a bookshelf. Yeah, there's now. a bookshelf now. <laughs> there's like a rotating bookshelf, like the big, like, whatever. Um, okay. So, to go along with this digital camera body, you got to have the best lenses. And I'm getting myself a set of Cook Cine lenses. Uh, so that is, so that is from like 15 mil. Oh dear. Internet connection mm -hmm. unstable. Am I still here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Weird. So this Where's is like a here? set of nice lenses to fit into this camera body that go from like 15 mil up to like 500 mil for different like focal lengths and stuff like that. So I'm shooting a damn good documentary with this camera and with these lenses. Oh yeah, absolutely. And love that for you, dude. I'm allowing this set because you, it, you oh yeah, no, it's a set. Sets. It's a yeah, yeah, it comes in a set. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll allow it. Just remember, I allowed it. Just remember. <laughs> I'm I'm remembering Dadly that I allowed, allowed you it. to have a book without a bookshelf. <laughs> what are you talking? Are there not shelves in the bodega? Does the bodega not have empty shelves on purpose? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we oh, just take a breath? Get pissed. Get pissed. <laughs> no. We're at 99. We are, we are in the <laughs> second pick of this 100 okay. pick draft. Technically, because there's three of us, it's 300 picks. So okay. yeah, we got this. Yes. We got, yeah, we so got this. Out. Out 300 different things. Um, I'm going to do a 200 yard long uh, drag strip. Oh, yeah. No, I see it. <laughs> I want to fucking be able to drive my goddamn. <laughs> and it's like, it doesn't have to be like a massive strip. It's just fucking. Okay. Yeah. Is it tarmac? Uh, yeah, yeah. sure. I don't there know. You Whatever you gravel. Have. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
Fuck no. I was about I get, to say, I let that that's why you gotta be specific. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, my 98 pick. Yes. On the shelves of the bodega, um, <laughs> you can also fly. <laughs> you can, can also fly. How- Heated, I made you in one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. This I, is the mood I wanted going into this. You guys are going to see a trend with this episode, which is they're going to fight a lot. I don't know why I'm looking over here. You're, they're going to fight a lot. <laughs> By the way, you should know this too. <laughs> I have gotten to um, the point. These two are going to fight a too. lot. And I'm yes. just going to be like, fuck it, dude. I'm enjoying <laughs> Like, let me just yes. take some things. <laughs> I'm enjoying their fighting. Found, found on the bookshelf. This is a, okay, uh, okay. not on the bookshelf of the bodega. Find on the shelves of the bodega. You can also find the original handwritten script of True Romance by Quentin Tarantino. Wow. Okay. Original... It's my favorite Tarantino film, and he never even directed it. He just wrote it. Screenplay for... True romance. Yes? Yes. There you go. Phenomenal movie. I've ever watched it. Hmm. Alrighty. Sounds good. Ugh, excuse me. Now, I'm going a little simpler with this. Every movie director needs a nice quality director's chair. I'm getting a director's chair. I'm getting ni- just a nice quality director's chair for my for this beginning of this section this section of my museum is like i am a filmmaker i i would like to have these things yes for filmmaking purposes it's like in the future your museum will be like and this is what he shot his first documentary on exactly yeah there's like that kind of thing uh yeah so dono um i'm going to get I'm going to get the original script for The Emperor's New Groove. Hmm. That would be kind of Hold neat. It. <laughs> it, 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 isn't that like like a thing that didn't exist for a while? <laughs> isn't there a thing with this script isn't there that they sp- didn't have it until the movie came out? Yeah, this is was- a tangent. This there was like a there was like a, a weird controversy where like there was a script written for a movie called Kingdom of the Sun, and yes. then all of a sudden this movie tr- like shifted and transformed into something completely like fucky wucky like nobody knew wh- like th- like the the studio execs were like if you don't one hundred percent rewrite this movie it's never going to sell yeah so they did right. on the fly. So, right, do you so want? I need to. Yes. Do you yes. want the script that wasn't do you want made, the or the script that the was? Sun, I just really you wanted want you guys to talk. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna instead get a wax uh, uh, replica of Robin William playing uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt from Night at the Museum. Maybe for your next pick. Let's stick with okay. what you originally picked. I was going to say, flag on the play. I think this is your pick I think now. this is your yeah. pick. Original screenplay yeah. for... Original screenplay for Emperor's New Groove. Sure. Okay. Let's... <laughs> let us... No, no. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not pulling that out right now. No. I was going to say things need to be real. Um... And if this isn't this real, is, we're going to have a problem. Enough. There is, it's real there enough. is one. There is a vibe. There is a vibe here of this is a thing that existed at one point, and you now have it. Like, that's... Yes. I, I am it. the owner of you. this thing. This exactly. has monetary value for me and gives yes. me... Yes. I'm going to put... Yeah, that's fine. All right. Deadly. All right. I did also... You know, in this kind of hodgepodge collection of like my knickknacky stuff, uh, a binder, like one of those like Pokemon card binders. This is one I brought up previously. Mm-hmm. 102 base set Pokemon cards. And I want to, I want to stress with this as kind of like a pleading and a begging with my peers. I'm not like, I want the foils and the air chars are like, I don't care if it's the most commons, even if they're a little beat up, just the fact of I have them all. You have the 102 original Pokemon cards for the original yes. 102 
Pokemon base set. Yeah, that was set. Yes. Okay. They only re released Be 102. Yeah, the yeah game, it was so. 102 when they first released. Yeah. Mm. There are no flags. I'm just saying yeah. some of those cards are not mint condition. If you if yeah, you want this to fit into me. one yeah. pick, they're not mint condition. Yeah. No, yeah. that's fine by me. All right. Now, going off of a theme <laughs> that y'all yes. used for your last pick, uh, I would really love to have a uh, uh, an original screenplay for um, 1917. Ooh. Because I want to see how the fuck he wrote down the stage directions for a one-shot film. Because that's what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to write down so like stage direction for a one-shot film. Like 1917 was one continuous like shot type deal. Yes. That's why I love it so much. That's why I liked Birdman. I want to see how I the love fuck Birdman. he wrote Bless that you. to be like Bless that. You. Excuse me. Bless you. Thank and with Dono's fourth pick, a wax sculpture <laughs> of, <laughs> of Robin Robert Williams. Williams. Ooh, Robin Williams as Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt in Night Museum movies. In Night at the Museum. Natum. There you go. There you go. Your things are good. All right. I was I was wondering if this was going to become a problem where where things are like going to be too long of a description for how wide I made the spaces. Uh, but that's fine. They can shrink down it's to good. fit. It's perfect. It's gonna be a problem, Tippy. It's gonna be a problem. <laughs> it's gonna. Uh, my it's... my nine or six on uh, on these shelves that you are walking through to get inside is a first edition of the Art of War. Oh damn. Wow, that is like an ancient ass pick, too. Yes, it is. That is, that is impressively ancient ass I, pick out of. And I will head. totally say I've said this. I've mentioned the Art of War before. How much I like it. People look at me and they're like, "You don't look like someone who would like the Art of War." And I'm like, I don't know how to take that. Uh, <laughs> zoomed out. But yes, I love the Art the of War. Text a little smaller. There we go. All right. All right. And now we're back. Okay. Sounds good. All right, now. Oh, excuse me. There You're are going excused. to be... <laughs> now, things that I am not drafting that are going to end up in this, like, movie set, like, part of my museum yes. are, you know, counted among things that I already have, like DVDs and Blu-rays of movies that I like and enjoy and, like, a, you know, a TV to watch them on. Yeah. It, one thing that I desperately gotta have to showcase those movies to, and videos that I've made is a fucking 96 inch QLED <laughs> uh, flat screen TV because fuck if I'm gonna showcase these in a fucking like you know uh, yeah. if I'm gonna showcase these on anything less than Absolutely. that yeah. size or you know I want to I want to find out like how to word a pick for one of those LED video walls but like for now okay. when I, when it's not in the museum I can take this bad boy home with me like that's that's fair yeah. that is fair that is also a small part of this draft is these should be things that you want not things mm -hmm. oh, I mean, yeah. to have just yeah, to have absolutely them. like yeah so oh everything everything this draft is something that I want personally mm -hmm. besides absolutely two categories oh kind of All okay right. i don't know hi i want a uh ooh, I th i'm trying to remember like square footage i would like to piece. have a <laughs> 500 square foot not glass walled office 500 square foot yeah i wait wait what is, like that seems like a half size man. room <laughs> Dude, if we want our warehouse partitioned off, do we have to draft walls? Hmm. Can I just say I can build my own walls? Hold on. That hold on. Let's call this audible now. <laughs> what? Do we have to draft walls. Walls to partition I can, I... the space do not need to be drafted. 
Got okay, it. I I still get being like I want to draft this specific glass to like for my office. I totally get that. Office. Like that's yes. what I want. Like I can okay. fucking can section. Like I can put my shit there. Let people have like sitting arrangements. They can. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like which I'll draft as long along with it. But you yeah. Know. I need to wrap that text. There we go. Balls to portion the space do not need to be drafted. Yes, that should have. I don't know how that wasn't obvious enough, but I get that. Yeah, so, but when you say 500 square foot glass office, this is like a dome or like a cube made of glass for you? Like, no, glass walled. So, like, the top of it is, like, not not glass. It's not like a giant, um, like, greenhouse. It's, it's built like building. a shower. What? <laughs> it's built like a shower. Four glass walls. It's glass, yeah. and there's no ceiling. It's built like a shower. It's a shower. No, there's no... Is I said room, there's no glass Is any ceiling. room without like, a ceiling a ceiling. shower? <laughs> there is a ceiling. Like, it's just like... It's like a building has been put into my building. A building. Oh, okay. you no, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're walking into an office building, and you see, like, all these cubicles and stuff, but then in the middle of that room is this, like, big, separate glass-walled office yeah. that the head honcho sits in. I want in a and big one in the like... mid... I want a big one in a decent part of the no, warehouse. I, oh, I, no, I'm I, picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking okay. up what you're putting like, down, and I like, like a it. Place, because I have this massive warehouse, I gotta be able to have, like, a space that's yeah. just, like... This is no, where I, get my I got it. I got it. Done. Um, caveat, I think that's going to take up two spaces. Okay. Dadley, do you accept? Sure. Or do you yeah. think it's one space? I personally think it's one space because material wise, it's not a lot. I mean, it's big, but material wise, it's really it's not a than lot. Like it's like a, a small house. So, like, all right. Like, you know one what I space mean? It is. Like they... One space it all is. Right. I'll allow it. All right. I just hope okay. that 500 square feet is about what I was thinking, like, size-wise. Is there a way to visualize 500 square feet? For my visual learners out there, imagine you have one square foot, and then imagine you have 499 more square feet. Because my house is around, like, I want to say it's, like, 1,000 to 1,100 square feet. Okay. But it also has, like, it's... You say, oh, damn, that's not that big to be. It's not. Like, it's not really to talk not shit, no, but it's, it's no, not no, that big No, it's at not. All. It's a small house. Like, I don't yeah. have... I have a house. It's, it's just not a big apartment. house, but I've got, you know... I mean, my house is literally a only, like... square foot apartment. It's pretty small. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so your apartment is 500 square feet. I've been... In Maybe. Dippy. Oh, mine? I'm not sure. I think mine is, all like, right. 900. Okay. Well, like, yeah. if all rooms counted, I think it's a nine. I think this, actually, is this room 500 square feet? I wouldn't be surprised if the room I'm sitting in is I like might want to change feet. it to a larger square footage. Can I do 900 instead? Larger square footage. might take up more space. Larger square footage is going to be two. Okay, that's fine. I all right. Two. Uh, 900 square feet. I want a small house inside of my house that I can do my there business There you go. In. No, Oops. that's fair. That is fair. There you go. Two spaces. Right. Dono, your next pick is being skipped. Rule. All right. All, All right. right. For my next pick, I'm mm -hmm. not good at this game, but I want it available for others within the bodega. Uh, like a marble crafted chess set. Okay. Just a nice chess set. Marble crafted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not particularly good at chess, but, you know, it's there. If anyone wants to pick it up and want to fuck around to find out. There we go. Yeah, I like it. A marble, a, a chessboard. Yeah. Yeah. Just, Pretty good. You know, All we're right. still in the 90s. We don't got to go too big. <laughs> like. Knights of Silver Moon. Hello, friends. How goes it? It goes well. Thank you for coming in for the 100th episode of the Dapper Deeds. Uh, we are currently right smack at the beginning of the Mega Dapper Draft. And I am on to my pick number 95, which is technically the sixth pick of the draft. Don't worry about how we're going to be here for a while. Yeah. Um, so I now want to put out a petition. You know, okay. the, you know, the golf cart trains that you get at like studio lots where yes. you, there's a golf cart at the front and then there's like golf cart aesthetic cars behind the golf cart to drag yes. along like yeah. more than more than like four people on one golf cart and they have like 
these cars that follow behind them. Yes. Yes. I want one of those trains with three cars. Okay. Behind it. So four vehicles. It's one vehicle and three cars that are not powered by anything following I behind wanted, this vehicle. If, if I wanted a ram as well as a trailer, would you count that as one or two? A ram with a trailer? I would count it as one because the trailer is right, just I'll, following behind the ram. All right. I'll count yours as one. All right. So I'm getting a ah, golf. <laughs> golf! <laughs> <laughs> no concepts. The concept of golf. <laughs> no. <laughs> golf cart train with three cars. Because if I'm taking people through this museum in this warehouse, it's gonna be on a golf cart train. Plus, I've no, always wanted a. Plus, I've always wanted my own golf cart. No, that's fair. Yeah. Mine's gonna get a drag race through the fucking with the. Yeah. <laughs> Cobra. You're just gonna go end to end. So. <laughs> Donald. <laughs> Dadly. <laughs> I don't, we're, we're still sticking at books. I'm still in my bookshelf, and I'm getting a first edition Brothers Grimm. Ooh. Uh, like the original Eight. Brothers Grimm fairy tales? Yes, 1812, if you need it more specific. <laughs> no, no, I like that. I get it. Clear empty strings. There we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That is, again, nice ancient ass pick. I like it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 1812. Shit's old, old. It is pretty old. All right. Now, the next part of the museum is going to be, uh, like, it's going to be quite a few um, of, like, it's going to be quite a few things related to Dungeons & Dragons. Hopefully. Um, so. Stealing it right out from under their noses if I have to. I have to have the critical role cast table that they use. The huge ass, like, it's like a, <clears throat> the big, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, th th yep. it's it's like mats in the center and there's like four people down each side. Uh, like I, unpopular the, opinion, I can't fucking get into Critical Role. It is so dense. I it is so either, long. I can't either, but that table, man, that's perfect. Okay. Like, I, I grab can look it. down at each... Yeah, like, so I'm getting the Critical Role uh, cast... That's funny. That's similar to something on my list. Cast table. Yes. All right. So that's my pick. Dono, you now have another pick. <laughs> I want and like, exactly I can pick Silver Moon. It's a things. it's the shape of a baseball diamond, yeah. Mm. Uh and I'm gonna I, grab this before uh like I don't know if any of you guys have it, but um I would like a uh Oh goodness. I would like to put in I would like to put in there and this might take a couple picks and stuff like that. I would like a uh, gym, like basically a Muay Thai gym where it has boxing, heavy bags, a ring, but also has like machines and a place to work out, etc. I'll I will pick everything if needed, but a Muay Thai gym. So padded floors, um, cage, like separation with you know, cages and stuff like that if needed. But yeah, fully equipped. Yes, Muay Thai gym, and Muay that Thai can take gym. some spaces. Because that's gonna I was have gonna, a lot of things in it. I was gonna say like five. Yeah. Does that seem like too much? Five? I would say okay. Because I'll hold need on. punching bags, are machines. You, are you hiring or a, a trainer? Squat rack. Uh, no, I can. Okay, it's that's one just, less spot. It's a personal. It's a personal thing for right. me. But I will. But it is like, like equipment, machines, pads, mirrors. I'll need weights. Weights. So it'd be weights, um, squat rack, or like a rogue multi rack. That situation. Um, boxing ring. Four picks. How's that? And, Deadly? Four picks? Um, heavy bags. So, yeah. Four's four. good for me. Yeah, four. Dono, four picks. I just know that I would 100% have this, so I could be able to have, like, yeah. yep. like my own See, little space to be able to work is out why, This is why I like this kind of thing, because it circumvents that 
you know, I'm getting equipment in it. I'm getting people working yeah. in it. Like that kind of thing. You know what I mean? But no, I would not need anybody in there. Yeah. No, I misunderstood because... the assignment and I wrote like a hundred very individualized specific. Um, yeah. I really went, I went a little too all out on this. You, mm -hmm. you, you took time away from your New Year's resolution writing to write a hundred things for this. Like, I need to stress, this has been like a three day stress of mine being like, oh Dippy and Donald are going to have their list done. I have to write my list. <laughs> exactly. You thought I'd write a list. You <laughs> thought I'd write a list for this? A hundred percent. I thought you'd write a list. Do you know how? Do you know who I draft? am? Do you know, who, do you know how we run the Dapper Draft? We write our list as we think of our picks, Dadley. <laughs> Yeah, but this is like the hundredth episode, and like I'm not changing my list. I'm sticking with it. It's in front of me. So I, I was about to say, like, part of me just kind of wants you to throw out your list and go with the no. flow, like we are. <laughs> this is like, a you great can still list. Make, you can still make a fantasy factory out of this. No, this stuff. is a great. This is a great like, list. I'm sticking with it. It's a contrast to you two. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I'm different. <laughs> My next one is a spice orange GameCube console. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't go with the Pikachu colored. I like the spice orange the most. I, I okay. literally Googled it. I was like, what kind of orange is it? And they're like, it's spice orange. I'm like, sure. Uh, that I do love that. I, I, I'm glad that you're kind of, that you're that, <laughs> that that is like thematically different than these other like books and things that are sitting on the shelf and that clearly brain, already existed in this bodega. Like, <laughs> yes, in my brain, it's what I want to look at. I want to turn right now, look at a bookshelf and this is everything I want on my bookshelf. So, and you, and you didn't trap the bookshelf, Dad. They're all just lying there on the floor right now. Like, they're look. all in a bodega. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're in the bodega. Okay. I stressed the I'm bodega was empty. I'm yeah. not gonna. Uh, okay, let me modify that pick then. Empty, authentic New York City bodega. All right. Yeah. That that fills it out in my brain a little more. Okay. Rather. Right. Just like whoosh. Okay. Now, critical role cast table. Yep. What do you put on that table? Only the best dungeon master screen. I do not have a specific one in mind, but I have seen these screens that are like custom made that have like a digital output on the outside of them. Yes, I know exactly I want what one you're of talking those. about. Yeah. A digital DM screen. Digital output uh, DM screen. Not I don't know from enough. where. I'm putting I don't know hentai how. on the yeah. screen. <laughs> Did it, it, it's a DM screen. No, Come I know, on. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. putting hentai on the screen. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know, because we move on. I d I, original script of Hamlet. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> yep. Okay. It's a thing. Like the first draft? Like the first draft of Hamlet. What if the first draft was just like. What if the first draft was Shakespeare? Was just like, writing and then a he fucking pulls out note. his dick. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> yeah. It's uh, so raunchy. It's just like. Hmm. Yeah. No, I, 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 I dig it. I'm ashamed to admit this is even the last time Hamlet pops up on the list. I like Shakespeare. <laughs> there you go. Hey, um, that's like fucking Shakespeare's man. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, I want to authentically recreate the Dungeon Master's outfit from the original Dungeons and Dragons like cartoon, <laughs> but like so that it like looks good. You know what I mean? Like an authentic. Oh, an, okay. Like, like you know what I mean when I say that the Dungeon Master had like a specific yes. look to him. That yeah. he looked really dopey and goofy. I want the outfit with none of the cringe. Like that's what I. He, the original DM for that series looked like he would be like, "Kid, I have free candy," and he genuinely just had free candy. Yeah. <laughs> the DM outfit. You don't want long-haired bald man. D and D <laughs> cartoon. Oh, perfect! It fits right in there. There you go. And it's you know what I mean too. Like it's this it's the yellow, like Yeah. 
it's like a ye a long yellow robe with an engra not engraved but an uh an embroidered like red velvet like it comes down the front and the back cloak and the hood and yeah. everything like that outfit seems like it would be so fun to have absolutely all right uh How moving right along sage dm without crazy balding patterns true <laughs> true i don't want to go bald though not yet <laughs> my dad is bald i might end up bald but i i don't want to go bald not yet all right. Uh, right along with that of I, like i described it i want to look over and i want to see this bookshelf filled with just stuff uh and i got oddly specific with this for some reason 10 inch tall d20 made out of emerald D fuck me dude that's awesome i know right that's just sick do you want to know something crazy what a giant d20 was going to be one of my next <laughs> was going to be my next pick <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait you gotta wait five rounds <laughs> fuck <laughs> God damn it. Um, no, because I haven't picked that yet. Oh, I thought that was for everybody. No. Okay. That's for okay. you specifically. Okay. Like that, All right. You know something? <laughs> Screw you. 12 inch tall. <laughs> 12 inch tall. Uh, D20 made out of cast iron and uh, plated with made out of made out of uh made out of cast iron and plated with ruby okay i you know i, I just... know that cast iron is a going to be a bitch and a half to pick up and roll absolutely <laughs> like but that... i mean my my last girlfriend me anyways situation. that 12 inches is too much so like it's fine i feel like i won all right dono your muay thai gym is complete with all of its padding all of its equipment uh. You now have a pick ne in the next round, Dadley. Yes. Oh, yeah. For number 90. Uh, yeah. To finish um, off the first 10 picks. Uh, a first edition copy of the Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it too. It's my favorite book ever written. For those that don't know Anthropocene Reviewed, it's just a great book. I don't know how to write the Anthropocene. It's misspelled even on my list. There you go. First edition copy of the Anthropocene reviewed. Yes, I do have it in my um, lineup of audiobooks to listen to. Yeah, and also uh, there are free segments of it on uh, Spotify for anyone that wants yeah. to check it out. Now, I want to invoke the grouping rule again and see how y'all feel about this. Okay. I want the alternate cover copy of each. Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition book. Ooh. Okay. Because I already own the standard cover copies. Yes. I want to upgrade those copies to alt cover copies of like I the standard set of D D&D yeah. 5th edition books. I will I want I I'll I'll let that take up multiple spaces in my draft if I have to. But I want yeah, each I, one. I would just say two cover. spaces. Okay. I bet you can get those within two box sets. You know what I mean? Like set of alt cover D and D five E uh, source books, and you and that's two spaces. Yeah, I will I'd take that. D and D six E. No five E. <laughs> because because auto it auto like. Yeah ads if you do it across multiple mm -hmm. all right so now mm -hmm. i i get a pick skipped that's all right yeah dono that's fine your next pick sir oh goodness okay um i'm trying to figure out where i want to go next i've had four things to be able to uh, uh wait for so if we get something there has to be somebody like able to caretake for it if what you, if I do something that's an automatic, autom like, automated situation? Like a robot? Okay. Yeah. It doesn't need a caretaker. It's a I robot. Want, I know. Hmm. I would like a uh, caretaker robot. Something that cleans the warehouse for me. Oh, like a like a souped up Roomba. To, yeah. To take the place of any future caretakers for like the... if i have a situation no. like if i'm wanting to get something that needs cleaning such as like an animal or whatever it's a robotic caretaker mm. 
by a robotic ter caretaker. Mm -hmm. Dono. Yeah. I don't want to invoke this too often during this. Each thing must be real. Do you have a base example of what this robotic caretaker might look like? <laughs> Do you like? Can you think of a robotic caretaker that your it's robotic caretaker would It's just a theory, a game theory. <laughs> then we're gonna have to. I mean, I I point. immediately pulled up uh, a little robot that can feed your dog. Yeah. Who's to say that they don't make bigger ones for horses? Yeah. Who's to say? Mm -hmm. I would allow it. Personally, if I found one from a dog for that really as long as you can like, prove it's Google real search. and it has been proven, the technology real, exists. The technology exists. Uh, that is fair. That is fine. The, the shadow government the is Jetsons. hiding it from us. The robot from yes! the Jetsons. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yeah, I do like that. All right, Dadley. All right. And the last piece on my bookshelf before oh we God. move on to the next part. I was about to say, uh, we better get off this bookshelf pretty soon. <laughs> it's 10. All of these are 10 chunks. Um, hmm. uh, the last piece of the bookshelf is uh, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I the have best yet Pokemon play... game ever made. <laughs> I've yet to play it. I've always will... wanted to. Every time I went to go buy it, it was never in the fucking game stop. I will say this. Do you already own that? Yeah, I don't care. I was about to say because <laughs> I, already, own, I will. My assumption. I own, here's, I own the disc. I don't own the case to put it on here's a nice thing, bookshelf. Here's the thing. I will call an, another audible here. Uh, if you already own a thing, you don't have to draft it. Oh. Like so I can just have all my dogs. <laughs> yeah, you can just have that, your dogs. That's kind of okay, the assumption cool. that I had going that. into this is that it, okay. I, I didn't know this was going to be... I didn't yeah. know how contested this was going to be. If you oh. already own a thing, then you don't have to draft it. Yeah, that's fine by me. Yeah. Like, you can bring it with you. That's why I mentioned my yeah. copies of my Blu-rays and all those mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, um, I own the disc. I don't own the case to be on a bookshelf. So, so a, I'm still so so a case, <laughs> case. for Pokemon XD, XD Gale of Darkness. Gale of Dark. Uh, dark. Because they really just needed to make the emoist fucking title. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> I do. The like edge that. is strong. <laughs> What's that? Is it the edge was strong back then? Yeah. Oh yeah. And I get skipped with the second with the second like uh box set of alt cover D D five E books. So Dono, you have another pick. Okay. Um let's start filling in my office. Okay. Uh, let's get me a nice like actually like good sized wooden desk. Like some like just a, a nice professional. Just a big one. old wooden desk. Uh probably like hand carved, really. Not nah, something with like a nice burned in design, but a, a large custom. Any particular wood, wood you desk. want it made of? Um, I'd say oh, mahogany. Goodness. That is mahogany. <laughs> uh, mahogany is <laughs> a very dark wood, though. Hickory. Oh, so hickory. It smells like Ooh. bacon in my fucking office. I love that. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, Dadley. Badly. All right, so we're moving on from the bookshelf. The next part looks just kind of like a warehouse. There's just a bunch of pallets everywhere. And this is where I really, I really see where I could push this grouping rule. Uh, with the first one being a pallet of teriyaki flavored Slim Jims. <laughs> oh, no, God. <laughs> you know... I can buy it. I can go right now and buy a pallet for myself and have it shipped to my house. I can buy every single one of these pallets that I have. I know I can buy as a pallet and ship to my house. Uh, I need to stop starting these things with articles like A and the. Um, unless well, no, the use the word role the is... for yes. it's, if it's a very specific thing. Um. Yes. Palette of teriyaki Slim Jims? Yep. Hmm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. 
there's a small part of me that wants to make this multiple picks just because that's a lot of fucking slim gems. Like it's that's, a lot of slim gems. That's a and, but hell it, of a lot of slim gems. It's all palette. It's all in one box. One palette. One, one palette, palette of teriyaki slim gems. Okay. Yep. If it's one palette, it's one pick. I'll allow it. One palette. Yeah. How big is a palette? Five by five. Yeah. That's a big. A five by five. Five feet by five feet. That's a lot of slim gems. Yeah. Palettes aren't that big. Well, how big is a palette? Is it like three feet by three feet? How big is yeah, a it's standard like three by three. palette? Yeah. <laughs> how big is how big a how big is a a palette? Like a manufacturing palette. The standard size wooden oh, palette um, is forty eight inches by forty inches. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's so, pretty yeah. big. That's bigger than three by three. That's like. Uh, mm. That's like mm, that's four, four feet. By that's four I'm trying to remember three and like the exact feet. number of boxes that you can yeah. put in like for that kind of a situation onto it because I used to not uh, I used to manage warehouse with there like, drinks and shit like that and so we'd have like a pallet would be a certain number. I think with like energy drinks and stuff, it's like 150 like boxes yeah. of it of like there you go. boxes of 24. All right, oh. there we go. Okay, I've got my table for d and I've got my DM screen, I've got my books, I've got the uh, the recreation of the outfit I'm gonna wear, I've got my main die, I've got a lot of sets of die that I'm already gonna use, like I already own those. Yes. I gotta have a snack station. So I you want- You gotta have some snacks. I want- I'm not sharing my Slim Jims. I want a cop- <laughs> I want a copy of the cereal wall from Pixar Animation Studios because they have these long <laughs> tubes, these long like clear yes. acrylic tubes full of cereal. Like, and you you bring up a bowl or like a plate or something and you just like chunk, like you dump out like a, pre, like a portioned amount or you could just like leave it open and have it flow out, but that's fine but I want a copy of the cereal wall from Pixar Animation Studios, but I want it empty so that I can put my own stuff in it. Okay. Uh, like, so that I can All put right. my own snacks, my own, like, there portion yes. snacks in it. Yeah. So, an empty copy of the cereal wall from Pixar Studios. Because the word animation is probably not going to fit in there without it you getting mean smaller. Just a wall of dispensing tubes. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. the ce but the cereal <clears throat> wall from Pixar is like okay. yeah. iconic, and it's like um, also a long ass fucking wall. It's going to take up a pretty big chunk, a pretty big okay. uh, space of the wall. So with having a gym, I need to have pre workout. So I'm going yeah. to have a uh, pallet of Dubby. <laughs> W.GG? Use W.GG, bud. <laughs> you know, for a whole pallet, I bet 15% off would be a good change off. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you know you get the bulk by discount in that kind of situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually pushing <laughs> a sponsor with one of your picks. <laughs> I need like a pre-workout and W is actually really fucking good. And you get like each one of these is 30. Each one of these is fucking 30. That would last me forever. I would get that's like that's like five year supply. That would be a pretty great a free workout. <laughs> one pallet. Like that is a there damn go. good. Alright. I do you for... want to be specific about any particular flavor or just leave it at like, um, the, a pallet the, of the uh, Trouble Punch. But if I could get it as a variety pack, that would be great. Variety, totally fine. Yeah. Let's okay. Go with variety. Yeah. Vari variety pack. W dot G G. Yeah. So you'll get m multiple flavors. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's good. <laughs> I can't believe right. you actually used a pick <laughs> to lean into the sponsor. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy that it's smart though I was, too. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about W like 
like a little closer to the break line here, but mm -hmm. no, I I love it. Hey, we're about like I don't know, we're like uh, thirteen. Not in. even close. We're thirteen. Oh my god! How long have we been streaming? Is this like? Is there a chance we do a part two to this? There is a good chance rushed. that we might do a part two. Well, is this is taking a long up. time. We can we can All speed right. up our picking process. Okay, a palette of birthday cake flavored Twinkies. Wow. wow. All right. They're the best Twinkies. Birthday cake flavor Twinkies. I love it. I will go for a palette of uh, Little Debbie's. There you go. Chocolate chip cakes. Ooh. You know Good. the uh, the double Good square pick. cakes that are like the yes. square, like the squares covered in chocolate and they have like whatever on yeah. the inside? Chocolate chip oh, cakes yeah. are chocolate cake, white filling, chocolate, uh, or not chocolate, uh, white glaze, and little itty bitty confectionery chocolate chips. They are go. my favorite little Debbie ca snack cake, and that's what I'm getting a palette of. Okay. Since Perfect. we're on the palette thing, I'm going to get a palette of variety pack barbell protein okay bars which is one of the best type of protein bars you can get they're so fucking good and they have great macros for it you too okay fair enough i'm gonna say we're right. we're starting to we're starting to step on the toes of the uh the five round category general field thing a little yeah uh well i mean my next but, one's not a food okay a pallet of crack and rum Oh, respectable, respectable. Granted, I believe I love... those come in crates. You can get a pallet. You can get a pallet um, of crates. You can get a pallet. Crack and rum? Yeah. Yes. I need to stress. I've researched everything on my list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Ashley. I put way too you much effort into this. You wanted you to, put... like, Yu-Gi-Oh! trap card him every single time. It's like, <laughs> actually, Dippy. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I guess I'll get a drink too. I will get a a a. Uh, what are the large barrels? You know how like the largest an oil drum? No, it's not even an oil drum. It's 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 the no. Cask. It's like the plastic container like, with like go, the fucking. You go to a distillery, right? <laughs> and they have yeah. the giant barrels, like the giant oh, mixing okay. barrels. Yes, but okay. when they're yeah, done mixing they're them called, up in that yeah. barrel, that that's like yeah yeah. I will, I'll call it a barrel until I learn of a better name for it. Uh, a barrel plus. A barrel plus. <laughs> of, um, Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I do, I do love me some Mountain Dew Code Red. I do too. I do too. It, it's, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Yes, Code Red, Knights. <laughs> yes, Code Red. It is the best Mountain Dew flavor. Actually, I'm just saying Baja Blast is on the table. I exactly. I'm leaving Baja Blast for one of you people who wants to select an inferior <laughs> flavor of Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> you <laughs> incorrect. All right, uh, Dono. <laughs> Um, let's see here. I've got my protein. I want, okay, I want a fully working kitchen. Oh, like, okay. Like a, sh like a restaurant. Uh, probably like small. ingredients to send an entire college frat house to the hospital. <laughs> I want an entire, yeah, I want an entire working kitchen in my, yeah, warehouse. So I'm where, where I can cook and make things and, okay. yeah. Um, that's, that's gonna definitely take more up than some one pick. multiple yeah. picks. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'd say are you another hiring four? someone to cook this stuff for you? No, I just want all the fucking space, dude. So you're I can be able to, to invite going people to over and this have kitchen like, yourself. Yes, I can. Like, I want to be able to like invite friends over and fucking have like just a cooking party and make some bomb ass food together. Oops. Like, grill up some freaking fried chicken or like. Deep fry some right, chicken. The way I, the way I I'm call that it, a five star kitchen, the way you're describing it. Yeah. No. The way I'm seeing it is it's like. It's more like my mom's kitchen, who has. It's okay. basically like a big stove, gas stove. Home style um, kitchen. Yeah, home style kitchen, but like with professional equipment, like a nice yeah. Yeah. dishwasher, a nice. Fully equipped. Uh, um, 
functional home style kitchen. Uh, I'll I'll say high end home style kitchen. Yes. My mom I was had say a visitor had a very me to say very four, nice four picks again. I'm fine with yeah. four because it's the stove, the uh, uh, dishwasher. The uh, my mom has this massive fridge that is glass, so you is can see inside of it. It has like a light. I have no uh, idea. Yes, okay. I no, I didn't see anything wrong with it. All right. I Let me check you. Now the rest Just of the uh, now the rest of the stuff for my cereal wall is going to be like stuff that I buy. So I'm getting off of pallets yeah, and barrels yes. of things. I'm not. Okay. A barrel. Oh God! <laughs> Just a barrel of assorted dice. I'm not picky on the dice. Just like I don't know if you guys ever been to a game store where they're like, "Yeah, just take this scooper and put it in a cup, and it's twenty dollars of whatever dice you picked up." Mm. But just like a barrel of assorted dice. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'll allow it. That's all right. Okay. Any particular okay. brand you like? I like Chess X myself. Chess X is pretty high care. quality stuff. Yeah. I end, every time I've done it, I've ended up with dice from board games I've never heard of before, mm -hmm. and it kind of makes me happy. Like, well, on that note, the last D and D thing I'm going to pick here, at least for a little bit, uh, is going to be uh, a set of those. Um, <coughs> I believe they're called Memento Mori Bone Dice. Oh my god! Oh, okay. I always want bone dice bone dice like literal human bone carved dice i've i've been so if morbidly I were to choose curious ivory... about those ever since i saw question those. do you consider ivory to be the same thing as bone no okay ivory is like polished and like fancy no ivory bone. is like the tusk of an elephant yeah that yeah 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 you're right you're which right. is a yeah no i don't yeah, consider it's, it's bone just, right, yeah. you're right you're right yeah it's just an outside bone. Uh, all right. Back to Dadley. Uh, oh, I was just modifying my yeah. list. A pallet of origami paper for crafts. A pallet of I don't know why I wrote the note paper. on my list. That's yeah. a lot of paper. For crafts. It's so much. It's so much origami paper. I don't know if I'm going to make that many cranes, but it's so much paper. <laughs> you know, if you make a thousand, you get a wish. I look. I actually. Mm. All right. I don't want to tangent too much because this episode is going to go long. I just found this video of a girl that's having strangers write their wish on an origami, like uh, origami paper, and then she folds it into a crane. And her goal is to do a thousand of these origamis with other people's wishes. So when she hits a thousand, her wish is that all the other wishes come true. And that's just oh, poetic. It's sweet, and I so love that so much. Cute. That's some that good vibes, right there. So breaking. cute. I love All that. All right, let's let's go through this because we're gonna end up having to do a second yeah. part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta start hustling. Yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping that this would just be one long episode if we could get it to that point. But if it has, so to I don't have work part. tomorrow, but Dono does. Yes, I do. I do have it, mm -hmm. and it's an early shift. So, sorry. Okay. <laughs> well. Hmm. Damn, I'm kind of hitting a wall now. Of like, I have these things you want. I had themes, I had themes, but I go, was gonna save them for later. Go left field and choose something weird. Okay, then I'll start walking down memory lane a little bit here, of things that I want to like kind of steal out from underneath other places just to have them in my museum, whatever. Um, okay. I need, I I need to get. Oh god, I forget what it was called. There was a roller coaster at Bush Gardens, Florida that I loved so much and I don't remember what it was called, but that but, but that theme park shut down and I can't look up what it was uh what the name of it was. All I remember is the name of the tower drop that I hated from that park was and I don't want to draft that. Um so just for I would give you the name of the coaster if I remembered it, but a Bush Gardens, a it is a Bush Gardens roller coaster that I forget okay. the name. Oh, it was uh, I think it was called Cheetah Run. 
Um. Woo! Are you planning on manning this roller coaster yourself? No, I'm not. I'm going okay. to hire people for this. This is going to cut into my salary cap. And I know it's going to take multiple picks as well. How many is it going to be, fellas? I mean, uh, I would just say one for the roller coaster and one for the employee. You need so, more than one employee. I'd say three. Oh, yeah. You can't just have one guy. Yeah. What if he wants a day off? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking people to maintain the roller coaster would take another pick, but okay. Also, sure. No, no. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, and I'll say no, that yeah. takes... No. That takes like. Dadley, you get two in a row. Like a hundred thousand. Yeah. Average sure. salary of a Six Flags worker. <laughs> Fair enough. That's twenty k, my guy. <laughs> Maybe. That's sixty one k. Sixty one k. Shit! Really? Wow. Yeah. All right. Minus sixty one k. I gotta go work at Six Flags. <laughs> There you go. Actually, that's not bad when, like, at least near me, of like Six Flags is closed five months out of the yep. year. Dadley, so. you get yeah, two picks really in a row because I get two picks in a row. Yeah, you get mm -hmm. your you get to explain two picks back to back, and then Dono has another pick after you, and then it goes back to you again. <laughs> a palette of every single flavor of Pringles, one tube of every flavor of Pringles. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there are some very nasty flavors of Pringles. There are wasabi and the spicy honey. To coordinate, the spicy honey is very good. To coordinate every flavor, every single flavor. Yeah, is one like button it, on their website. Are you serious? Uh huh. Yep. One <laughs> button on their website gets you. Dibby, one palette. he did research for this shit. Gets you okay. One palette yeah. of every flavor they've ever made. Yeah, well, no, like, in, in all in one pallet, not one pallet for each, but yes. That's what I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gets you an assortment of every, I'll say, every flavor they have in, like, every live flavor right now. They don't have the past right, flavors. Right, 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 yeah. right. Okay, when you say yeah. every single flavor, I imagine every single flavor they've tried and failed as well. No, I'm good. So, I'm good on that. No, just the ones that, just the ones that are succeeding. Every single current every flavor. Every current flavor of Pringles. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Um, and then, oh, okay, where am I? Uh, a palette of spray paint cans for edgier crafts. I started yeah. writing myself notes because I got bored making a list. Any specific brand of spray paint? No, no. it's fine. Spray paint, spray paint. Cool, you're yeah. getting the cheap chromelium spray paint. <laughs> That's fine. Stab it with a knife. You can do cool splatter paint. Mm. All right. Dono, you get a pick, and then it's back to regular order. I want. You don't want lint Pringles? <laughs> I want. <laughs> Is that a thing? I Ew. want a. I want a sectional couch that I is big enough for a second to cover half of my office. It feels like eleven sections. So an eleven what? section, eleven section sectional oh. couch. Like. And it be very like the, one of the really comfortable ones where it's like it's almost like you're laying on a bed, but it's so much comfy. Okay, let's do math. Wait, it's 900 square feet. What's the square root oh of 900? We're not doing this math. We're gonna be here forever if we're doing this math. <laughs> square root of 900 is 30, so it's a 15 foot couch. It's not that much math. It's not. So nine sections. A 15 foot couch. Yeah. And each section is about two feet? Yeah. So like an eight section yeah, like, sectional couch. Oh, I'm yeah. talking like a sectional, like fucking And it goes around a corner, then we're going to It goes back around like the entire sections. No, yeah. it okay. goes around to like each one of the walls and shit like that. Wait, you want your office perimetered with couch? No. Inside. So like when my friends are coming over and we're hanging yeah. out and we're yeah, like yeah. Inner, fucking inner perimeter of couch. Yeah. So, like, you guys come into the office and you have a fucking nice ass sectional to be able to see. Okay. In. All right. And hang out and talk 15, and communicate. 15 is as many Deal. as I can yes. fit in one pick, I think. And that oh, could fill that fine. could fill yeah. a large section of inner perimeter. Yes. Yeah. All right. But they make cool. sectionals that big. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. 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 It's very nice. I, and... Oh, I know a pick that I'm getting next. <laughs> I. 
So you know how they have like cold pallets to like ship cold shit? Yeah. One refrigerated pallet. Yes. Refrigerated pallet of what? <laughs> I couldn't find the name of these, so I just wrote the good old classic ice cream sandwiches. Mm. You know what I mean. You know yeah. exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bluebell ice cream sandwiches. Sure. No, not Bluebell. Um, what is it? It's I know the brand you're talking Blue about. Blue Ribbon. Though. Blue Ribbon. That's what it is. Like Paps? Blue Ribbon ice no. cream sandwiches. I can't believe that fits. That just barely <laughs> fits. Wow. Okay. Uh oh, I have a turn again. Wow. Okay. I am going to get It's the, weird, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get the triple decker. I'm gonna get the triple decker California King bunk bed that we talked about. Like oh, it yeah. was a long time ago. So we're entering into like the yeah. private section. Like this is like the IKEA section, right? So this is furniture. Yes. This is furniture that I want to own at some point, or furniture I have owned that I want a better version of that is going to like be in this museum. So the triple decker California King bunk bed. <laughs> yep. Because that thing I, is iconic. I want that is. so bad. Actually, I think there was a version for an Alaska King, which is even better oh my and God. even bigger. There we go. Yeah. The triple decker Alaska King bunk bed. It's literally just three layers of giant mattress. I'm assuming that the mattresses are included in the grouping of this because it is the assume. whole bunk bed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I will I will totally admit that I found this bed out. I was the one that turned the group onto this. Yeah. Because I was surfing Reddit and someone posted it with the caption, the ultimate soaking machine, and it will never not be in my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's great. <laughs> okay. Sure. No. I want Mm -hmm. What do you want? A no. ten foot deep freezer. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. A massive deep freezer. Yeah. And if it needs to take up another space, it'd no, be that feels full totally in... of like oh. fucking fresh meat. Okay. I'd say that's two spaces if you want meat yeah. in it. Yeah. Meat, cheese, like just things. Not you like can't just do cheese. Do <laughs> <laughs> with various <laughs> meats. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> two picks. Armadillo. Kangaroo, yeah, dude. alligator. I uh, have you actually eaten alligator? It's pretty good. Yes, I have. Oh yeah, I love yeah. alligator. Really good. Yeah. All right, deadly. Um, the last of the palettes. Oh thank God. Nacho cheese Doritos. You're gonna be saying this so often. Uh, a palette of nacho. Not cheese Not blue Doritos. ranch. Not no, blue nacho ranch. cheese. Nacho cheese. Really not in blue ranch Doritos? Corn? Nacho cheese. It goes the best with a ham and cheese sandwich. I'm getting a pallet of sour cream and onion. Ah! Sub bowl. Whoa. Hello. Hey, who sub? Hey, thank Knights you of so much. Moon. Thank Knights you for Knights subbing. Thank you for subbing. Appreciate that. We made that. it, you guys. Why, thank you. We just barely came back to Twitch and we've made our sub goal. Thank you, Knights. That's this awesome. Is that, this is a good thing. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> one pallet of sour cream and onion lays. Just that's to make fair. sure that I get my hands on it and you don't. <laughs> All right. No, that's that's fair. As we move on, I won't even announce this next section because you know what I have to do? What's that? I'll draft a bookshelf. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, it's not gonna be books this time. What type of <laughs> what type of wood are what type of wood we got for this bookshelf? I'd white birch. Oh, I love white birch wood. Yeah, a nice white birch bookshelf. Can all this fit on a bookshelf? Yeah, absolutely. This okay. Can. Yeah. No, it can't. There One thing go. will be not on the bookshelf. Fair enough. All right. Um, that just because that was kind of a a spite pick to go back yeah, to fine. like yeah. no, uh, it's all good. going back to like furniture. I need an egg chair. I need one of like the original iconic like egg chairs. The 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 the, the like the nineties aesthetic. The the big round egg Oh chair. yes, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um yeah. I just need like a nice I've got one of those. Like a mint condition. Uh I'm gonna make Oh it, no, wait, no. I'm, I'm gonna make it red. 
because I uh, okay. or not yeah. red, orange rather. Yeah, uh, orange mm -hmm. upholstered uh, egg chair. Yeah, yeah. Just one of the like from the like, like mint condition nineties uh, orange upholstered egg chair. Just mm, mm -hmm. there you go. When did we move on to Christmas? Is it? Is this like? Oh, because it is Christmas. It moved on to the Christmas album of Stream Beats. Okay. Okay. I fuck with it. That's right. fair. You know, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, Dono, you now have a pick again. Hello. Um, I. Ooh. Oh. We're moving a little faster through this. When you I said want... how long have we been streaming, it was um, an hour and 15 minutes. Now we're at an hour I... and 35, and we've gone you know through what? quite a few. I want a fucking monster truck. Okay. I like it. Yes. Yes. Um, any specific grave monster digger. truck that you would like a copy um, of? Uh, grave Digger. Fuck it. Oh, I, that's grave the one I know grave about. Digger. I mean, yeah. Are you going to drive it, or do you want the driver to come? No, uh, you don't it. get to draft the driver of Grave Digger. Grave Digger not? has had the same driver for like 20 years, and he's awesome, and he's a professional, and I want to meet him, but that doesn't mean I have to draft him. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm gonna draft him either. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, all right. So moving on. Okay. I thought you know. All right. So we we went past all like the boring pallets and whatnot. And if you're still on the tour, of my warehouse, mm -hmm. I thought it'd be time if like you get to take something home. So this this shelf is just a bunch of gifts. If you want to take one, bud. Thanks for joining the tour. The first mm. gift is brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um Yeah. These are these are I'm not gonna get very specific. Actually, no, some of these are very specific. But just whatever the fuck I say is what's going on the wall. I don't care what the brass knuckles are. Like Okay. Sure. I won't argue if you with want you. Them, they're there, bud. This is just something that the that the people taking the tour can take care with them. Yeah. Sure. Alright. Is this renewable? Is this every person that comes in to visit? gets I like mean, I mean, if every, somebody, after if somebody every takes... visit you get a new pair no. on this wall? legally no. you have to call it a belt buckle. no oh okay no. okay <laughs> no it's not gonna be renewable okay okay no. then i i was about to say if it's renewable it might cost some extra picks depending on the things that you're giving out as gifts all right no. okay. okay um now I need the, uh, I need, actually, I'm going to go back on what I said about the triple decker bunk bed. Those mattresses are going to be Magnolia air plush, uh, Ooh. mattresses. Okay. Valid. For bed. For uh, beds. Yeah. Because like. Because those things, I went to a mattress store to get this uh, replacement uh, box spring. Yeah. And they had Magnolia brand mattresses there. Those were the softest fucking things I've ever even laid down on. They're awesome, but they're yeah. so expensive. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know. Hold on. Is this? Nope. Nope. Uh, I think there. I I know there used to be a way for me to do a a, a, a trademark sign for mm -hmm. or like a copyright symbol. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. One five three, right there. Uh, I'll put okay. a trademark symbol on brands. Okay. That, okay. Um, for me. Sense. Okay. I yeah. would like a. Uh, I would like a park next to my office. So something that like where my kids can be able to play. So like a jungle okay. gym park. I'd also like to have like a second like, like some stairs playground? that go up to the very top. Yeah, like, yeah, a, like playground. a playground. Okay. But like I want to put some cool shit in it, you know? Okay. Like a little like a little Ferris wheel that you can turn the wheel and shit like that. Like it not not automatic, but it's manually able okay. to turn. Like they used to have back in like the seventies yeah. and shit. Yeah, uh, and then a bunch uh, of kids got hurt on them. And then, yeah. like, in this, like, so I'm going to explain this. This may take a little bit, but I want, like, stairs that go up and the thing continues up there and you can have slides that, that come from off the office top and stuff like that. So it's like a reinforced roof on top of my okay. yeah, office. Okay. And, and then I want... Playground. Yes. Yeah. This um, feels like fun. Yeah. yeah, and then... 
and this might be my five. I want a fireman pole to go into my office okay. from the rough. Yeah. I'll take that's five. A five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a I'm okay with that. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I love the pick. And it's going to be okay. a lot Great of picks pick. as a result. Yeah. I feel like, like I'm somebody that likes to host and be like, yes. Yeah. And so I feel like this would be something that's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go have some fun. Maybe there's like a trampoline or like a bouncing floor area and shit. Also, yeah. I have my fucking gym, which we have the soft. There you floor. go. Yep. Yeah. Now I like to play. Uh, the next gift on this shelf is uh Classa Azul Ultra Tequila. It is the most expensive tequila I have ever drank in my life. I will send you the name of it. Mm -hmm. to How do you often. spell it? Just spell it. Cas Casa, Class uh, yeah, like ca Classa. Mm -hmm. C L A S E Azul Ultra Tequila. Uh, it's how the most much? expensive tequila I've ever drank. It's two grand. No, but like, oh. how much are you drafting? Oh, it's just a bottle. Just a bottle. One just... bottle. Okay. Yeah, if somebody two takes, grand? if somebody wants it, it's there. It's two grand. God and damn. it's phenomenal. Would you so like good. put it in like one of those nice glass things and put it like, like a no, it's just on the shelf. No, okay. it's just on the shelf. It's, okay. just, it's just there if there you want you it. Why do I see this bodega as like a fallout? Like in fallout? Yeah. It's yeah. just like full of these random <laughs> Yeah, just random things. <laughs> It's like, why is there a bottle of two thousand dollar tequila in this fucking random oh, yeah. bodega? <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Okay. I want a zip line. I just oh, want, that's fucking. I just want a zip like line from one edge go, of the warehouse to yeah, the other that can go. Actually, if it takes up Do more you picks, want... I want one that like it's like a system of zip lines where you can go, <sighs> you can climb up one tower. In and you go down to another one, one side and it goes down like a couple of different times how I many football that. fields is this equal to how like many six football fields uh six? it's like six football fields i would say yes. that it would like each zip line connection would be a football fields worth yeah so yeah like it's in the get, middle so I'm saying, like, if you think it's fair, like, six picks because you're having to get six different things. Whoa. You just got an I entire be... playground for five. That's true. Wait but a second. Like, okay. Then but allow like, me to say... A zip line is a little bit different. Like, a... Have you seen... Oh, okay. Now, hold on. Have you seen the world's longest zip line is in a place in, like, South America. It yeah. attaches to the top of a mountain and goes to the base of that mountain. Like that's yes. how long of a zip line you can have. I just want one that goes from one end of my warehouse to the other. Like okay. from the I, highest point to the this lowest. This is what point. I was thinking is that you thought it was going to have like towers and stuff. Right. So you jump to one area and so that, that it would split and then out. I thought about I was, that and then I revoked I was that. If it's just the one to one side, yeah. I'm fine with it being like one or two spaces. I would but just like, say if one, you're have one space for and stuff one like that, zip line. If you want multiple locations i was gonna say just two spaces for it all okay i don't even know how to be uh, okay i'll say like i'll say like like how do i specify that it's like a in good condition and not like a rusty zip line you know what i mean <laughs> like uh, brand pristine. new brand new there you go or brand pristine pristine yeah. that's a good mm -hmm. word for it pristine okay. zip line and you know what? I'll take it. I'll make it take two spaces because I want one that goes from right. the highest point of my warehouse to the lowest point, and I want just like a like a couple of like little ones. Yeah. That just go yeah. from like little go sections of yeah. the store, little sections of the warehouse to the other. Like, yeah. This this also, might be my first so one that, that you can hook yep. camera equipment up to it and do uh there you do go. dolly yeah. shots across. Yeah. That's like, awesome. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. This might be my first one drone. that takes multiple <laughs> spots. Uh, cause I just wrote an assortment of Jerry Garcia ties. No, that seems like it would be just one. In that seems like of... it, you've drafted multiple pallets of large things. Like, that is fair. That is, yeah. you know, it, Jerry yeah. Garcia ties are not that fancy for. No, they're not. For I your love taste them, of like other yeah. things that you've done. And you have another pick right after because oh a, a coffee mug signed by Dolly Parton. That's cute. <laughs> Shit, that might be like what I take as my gift if I do this tour. <laughs> okay, um, 
So still talking about furniture a little bit and like things of that nature. Um, <clears throat> I am thinking that I need a conversation pit. So, mm, okay. So this is kind of going along the lines of Dono's idea of like a perimeter, an inner perimeter sectional couch. A conversation pit is literally just an upholstered and like furnitureized hole in the ground. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That you like. I was thinking of like a reading pit, like in a library. Like, have you? Yeah. Ever yeah. Same vibe. Yeah. Same vibe. Same vibe. Yeah. And stuff. But I like that. I like the conversational pit thing, whatever. With leather, you want to do leather? Oh Easy yeah. Easy to clean. Easy okay. to clean, and it's and you you it would be surprised how comfortable leather mm. furniture is. Like I am mm -hmm. so used okay. to leather furniture, w especially when it's cooled. Like when you purposely cool Ooh, leather yes. furniture. Oh yes, mm -hmm. it is very good. Uh, yeah. the, the next gift for those tour in the warehouse, mm -hmm. uh, a nine pound wheel of Gouda cheese. Wow. All right. Damn. All that talk of cheese and you got the, you, you ponied up with a specific kind. I did kind. the cheese. Yeah. I did That's the cheese. That's a fuck ton of cheese, dude. So don't That's even eat the whole wheel. <laughs> don't, don't even eat the whole wheel. Hollow it out and use it as a bowl for mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, that's pretty fucking good. I like oh, that. All I right. just nutted. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, my God. All right, now. This hey, is, my, this is, 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 this is going to be a big picker. I'm going to I'm okay. gonna have this be as many picks as you it needs made to it be to, a to be perfect. Of the way through. Yeah. I need, I want and or need a fully equipped AMs a fully equipped high quality movie theater like screening room with like like with the chairs and the projections and the projection screen I'll mm -hmm. hire a professional projectionist yeah I you feel know, like the, the, that's kind of three spots because like, you need the chairs the screen yeah. and then the chairs, projection. I was gonna screen, I was gonna say four projection. spots four spots chairs are I was gonna say four chairs are two spot or how many how how big are you? Are you doing to? okay? Are you doing couches or are you doing chairs? I so AMC Stones River Nine yes. has these reclining chairs. Yeah, that like yeah. Th that you have buttons where the chairs recline. Are they they also are like heated and shit like that or cooled? The best quality ones are heated. Yeah. Oh yeah. My local so theater. I would say three. Has it three sounds heated. fair. Yeah. yeah, three sounds three? fair. Yeah, three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, theater. So like, I just because I can't think of like the highest end movie theaters <laughs> I've ever been to. Yeah. But like the common ones that I've been to are like high end AMC quality movie theater. And you just want one theater, not like the whole fucking stretch screening of Screening room. Yeah. yeah, I don't need the yeah. whole ass theater. I just need yeah. one screening room. If it was a and full you said theater, be... like multiple screening rooms, I I'd would say, say three. that would yeah. take like I got off easy ten. on that. I thought that was going to be like four. Oh, wait, no. Four. Chairs, yeah, four. screen, projector, projectionist. Yeah, That's how I see it. And then that projectionist, I'll, disc, I'll count off like 20K. Okay. okay. Uh, is that back to me or does Dono go now? No, that's it's back your to turn. Me. Yeah. I uh, a talent from a Velociraptor. Nice. Ooh. Wow. A fossilized one or brought back to life, like in <laughs> a fossilized one. I did. It has to be real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're getting real good with that cloning shit, bro. <laughs> All right. Yeah. A Velociraptor talent. Okay. There we go. Velociraptor talent. Sure. Okay. I kind of want I'm heated floors. I'm surprised I'm the only one that has taken anything out of the salary cap so far. <laughs> I, I made like, sure not to. I did not want to deal with it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not going to reach 5 million by the time we're done, I don't think. No. I, but, yeah. I want heated floors. Okay. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. I get that. No, yeah. that's fair. Upgrade that's valid. Yeah. Two heated floors yep yeah i will say two picks actually let's say 
temperature controlled floors. Temperature controlled. I would say that's two. definitely two picks. Yes, temperature controlled floors. That way, if it's like really really hot out, I can drop it yeah. down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Make it cool and stuff like that. Okay, that's I'm down. I'm okay great. with. That's a that's a great, great pick. pick yeah. That's yeah. that's the, really. And it's you know real bougie. What really sucks about that. <laughs> No one else can pick that now because yeah. you've picked it. Y'all got amazing. cold ass floors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so God yeah, damn. I mean that's right on par with like the next gift I'm giving out to Dad. Mm -hmm. Yes, which is um a Fraser box set. <laughs> hey, I have a question. Does yeah. this warehouse come with like basic amenities like of a course. heater? Yeah, I would it assume it comes like, with yeah. basic yeah, okay, amenities. Good. Of course it does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like it obviously has like a massive garage door to be able to bring in shipments and stuff like that. That yeah. is gonna come up with not... one of my later picks. I wanted okay. wanted to be like I wanted to upgrade for something very. Oh specific. yeah, I gotta remember. Yeah, I remember yeah. one of my other picks that I wanted okay. to do. Uh, so you go again because we've got our doubles. Yeah, so a Polaroid camera from the nineties. Hell yeah, those are a the best single ones. Single nineties Polaroid camera. Yeah. I've always wanted one too. That was probably gonna show. Well, up now later. you gotta pick between the coffee mug with Dolly and uh no, the, and the camera. I was about to say, as a gift, yeah, that's gonna be my um, gift. It, 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 I, what I was saying is that was gonna be one of my picks in my draft. Oh, it was gonna okay. be a Polaroid camera, like a classic Polaroid yeah. camera, oh. and now I can't pick it, and I'm upset. Dono, my bad. You have another pick. I'm gonna say a uh, personalized box truck. I'm gonna say a Penske. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. no, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Personalized yeah, Penske. Yeah. Cuz I want to be able to uh, ship things and bring truck. things in and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Are you hiring a driver? Yeah. Or are you uh, driving it yourself? I'm, I'm licensed, so You're licensed? Well, yeah. Well, a, a, yeah. a hauling truck you can drive yeah. with a standard yeah. license, you know, so. Yes, you okay. can do it with a standard license. I don't it's okay. something like, for me to be able to yeah. take on it's just like, "All right, I got to go pick something up." I want a big fucking I want like a good sized truck to be able to pick things up. Fair enough. So. All right. I uh, just look back at this just to make sure that I've got this all like. Yeah, it all looks good. Somebody's got to do the work to do to do those temperature controlled floors. Like a little bit of contract, I mean, getting, like a little could. bit of contract cost for yeah. okay. temperature controlled floors. Not as I mean, much as hiring someone to do it, but like. Like I'm not gonna do it myself. I don't know how to fucking do that. But, are you like, saying out of the to... salary cap, or yeah, you now out of the need salary to hire cap. somebody? Yeah. Out oh, of the salary yeah. cap. That's, yeah. Just yeah. for just um, for someone to come in and just the contract for upgrading. Let me look that. up how much a uh, how much. Or would you rather that we just yeah. make up a number and you don't be sure. burdened with a ridiculously high number? <laughs> Troll flooring. I don't think it's that much, is it? My next pick is nunchucks. <laughs> oh wow, it is. <laughs> it, it, you know what? It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's it's. Don't perfect. change the font. That even looks so perfect. <laughs> no, <laughs> no goddamn it! Why is that that font? That's not bad. Let me see what How it... many square feet is this warehouse? Uh. So much. Oh. 250,000 square feet. Okay, let me do the calculations on that then. Oh yeah, why didn't we just look at that for the 900 square foot office? You know, like Oh yeah. That's um calculator. So it's $7 at its cheapest, which I wouldn't get like super expensive shit. But um for temperature so controlled floors times 200 So 1.4 million? 1.4 million dollars for the whole for every floor. It's well, no, that's for installation for installing it. Yeah. yeah. But it's 1.4 mil to install it in the whole place. And that would be a yeah. damn good thing to have if you don't plan on having yeah. salary for anything else. Yeah. Like, OK, like, I don't plan on having people working in that place. If anything, yeah. I might like if I have something over. Yeah, but it's like it's fucking worth it. Let me splurge minus 1.4 okay. mil. There you go. Huh. I got five mil, right? Yeah. Or what do I yeah. got? Yeah. What the fuck now, I want to stress. This is the, the the rest of these picks are not dependent upon like someone is coming in and installing them. This the, when it's drafted, it's like 
the only reason I look at temperature controlled floors and I say that someone's got to do that is because that's like a really delicate thing. Yeah. Yes. No, you're for right. For the you're whole right. yeah. place, if you're upgrading yeah. the existing. But that's building. a hell of a payday for that person. Too. It is a hell oh, of yeah. a payday. Yeah. And it's definitely going to be like, that's a couple days. Like, work. you don't need to hire somebody to put in the deep freezer to do the yeah. thing for that. No. You did, yeah. like, I bring, like, I got a box truck. I can freaking uh, bring yeah. all that stuff yeah, in. Yeah, you're good. You're and good. You're like, and you're like, and I have basic amenities, these... which means I have yeah. a gas line. I have a water yeah, exactly. line. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, there's a little element of magic in this where it's like, oh, yeah, these are just showed up. These have just, yeah, like, they're here now. They're here. Yeah. 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 All right. Now I have a pick after this screening room. Hmm. Damn. I'm at a point where I'm kind of like... Now I'm like, what do, What are some, like, collectible things that I want? So... This was going to come a little bit later, but... I guess there's no better time to do them. Um... <clears throat> so... I will say that, oh, going along the lines of upgrading the floors, I want to make sure not every square inch of the floor is going to be covered in this, but I want there to be like th a lot of these areas so that it's easier on your feet to be the new, like, you know, when you go to a playground and they don't have like rubber chips, oh, they have that yes. new, like, they have the like bouncy foam. floor. They have like yeah. the bouncy foam, like yeah. floor on a playground. So I just want to take a bite like, out of it. Chips or wood chips or gravel or anything. It's just don't. a solid, like, it's just a solid plane of this soft, like spongy, yeah, like it's foam so nice. floor. It's so I great. Want, like, half of my warehouse like the exhibition okay. Okay. like the exhibition places yeah. Yeah. and yeah. you know the places that are okay. in, doing that to be yeah. of that material instead of like concrete yeah that sounds good yeah, yeah. all right upgrade oh oh that whole line got changed different font okay it's weird upgrade half of floors to Playground sponge floor. Sponge. That's a lot, too. I will. Okay. Yeah. If we're doing, inst if we're installing temperature controlled <laughs> floors for about 1.4 oh, mil. I would say that's probably. These are stickers. These are easy to install. These are straight up stickers. Yeah. You just but, stick okay. them onto the floor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I was just looking into these. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Um, I want a surround sound system throughout the entire warehouse. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Okay. Like, yeah. I want a PA system that I can be able to net use throughout the entire warehouse where I can I gotta... play music no matter where I'm at. Yep. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. So I don't have to plug it into a cord. Ah. I just connect. There we go. I got to take that off my list. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Yours can be corded. It can be completely. I just, that's kind of where I'm going with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just Pretty have a shit. shittier version. Hold on. You can have like multiple plugin areas. All right. Well, I was going to have a PA system. I'm like, okay. Uh, you Museum quality. I want Bose speakers, bro. Okay. Like <laughs> Bose concert quality. Venue quality. Like All concert right. venue quality speakers. Like, yeah. Concert quality surround sound PA system. All right. Yes. There's I'll no D in that it. word. Cons dirt. <laughs> All go. right. The uh the last gift. The mm -hmm. last gift mm -hmm. for this journey. Mm -hmm. Uh 55 gallon drum of lube. Uh god damn it. Why did I have a feeling that that was going to be something you were going to get in here? What? Don't pay attention to what draft number it is. <laughs> <laughs> that only tempts me even more to just as a like <laughs> to just have something for really... What would I even What are you going to do, Dippy? What would I even draft in this spot, though? I know exactly what I'm getting. Well, shit, I could wait. No, I'm going to do mm. it here. 
Hmm. What was the first movie to show boobs? You know what? No, you That'd know what? You one. know what? You know what? You know what? what? I'm going to have a I'm going to have a massage table. Okay. Are you going to hire somebody? To do? I was just thinking like if a there's masseuse? a massage table, there's got to be a masseuse tied to it. There what? Be like is that how it down. happens? No, not tied to the. <laughs> it's gonna take two spots because you get to get the straps and the table. <laughs> Professional quality, not straps. Come on. <laughs> Professional quality massage. Table. I know somebody who does massages. I I'll just yeah. You don't down. have to. Yeah. Dippy, do just do meditation or yeah. like uh like meditation area, and have it just take two spots. So you have everything that's massage wise and. Not like the Ooh, person you know that's what? not there. Oh, you know what? You have, be a, better. you have a pretty good idea, though. Professional quality spa. And I'll make it uh, up, take up two go. spots. So there's a massage table. Yeah. And are you, the, but are you doing like, like a jacuzzi with that as well? Oh, or yeah. like a steam room? It's gotta I would have, give it three. It's got to have a jacuzzi in it. I would give it three then if it's going to no have like room. that kind of. Just no a steam room? Just jacuzzi. Well, you're going to have a jacuzzi, table. worker, and massage table. And. Okay. I think like two is fair. Unless you yeah. also want a sauna. I'm not hiring anybody for no, it. No, he's not getting a sauna. He's not okay. No, that's what I'm saying. No steam room, no okay. sauna. Okay. I, I actually um, don't really know how I feel about the quality of a steam room, if I'm being shit, honest. I just forgot what I was going to fucking say. Oh, no, wait. I know what I was going to say. Okay. And this, I'm going to hire somebody for this one. Okay. I would like a... So that's at uh, least two off the bat if you're hiring somebody. Yes. Yeah. yes. I would like, and because, you know, it's 69 and I do weed... Uh, I would like a grow station, like a shed, like a good, like okay, kind of like a garage for growing. Hmm. That with okay. its own yeah. aeration system, everything like that. So like a growing. That feels like three, not two. I, I can do say. that. Yeah, I do three. Okay, Just because I don't want the entire warehouse smelling like it, but I want yeah. an area where it's like bought and whatnot. You already have an office pretty set up for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the office is like the hang yeah. spot. You can... <laughs> Top we can go smoke and then go station. hang out at the jungle gym in the office. <laughs> yes. Grow station. Uh, and then that can take three spots. Yeah. Three spots. With an employee. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pay the guy good. Uh, One mil. <laughs> One no, mil. not that good. Uh, I don't know. I'll say 40. 40K? Okay, is, that, is that a good number for... That sounds That's like a twenty dollar an hour uh, job. Sounds fine to me. For a grower, um, that's not bad. All right, Dadley, you have two picks in a row again, and then I have a yeah. Pick and then you so have we're third moving pick. on from the from the like the take this home with you, mm -hmm. and uh, we're moving on to like towards the back of the warehouse. Mm -hmm. This is this is kind of going to be more of the open space. It's going to be what I'm calling Parks and Rec, and we're going to start with a half pipe. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay. What brand? What's up? I was I I, I have to, you have to pick a, a brand big deal. Is it? I've built it? like multiple of them in my life. Do you life. want a mini or bad. do you want to have large? I was about to say I mean, I how like 12, big like is this foot? half pipe? A 12, 12 foot? foot 12 yeah, foot half pipe. Okay, that's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, no, not bad. Yeah. Okay. Actually, if we we will we will simplify this. 1 2 3 4 5. My next 5 picks are all skate park equipment half pipe right. ride rail so if you just want to say skate park yeah professional professionally graded skate park yes oh shit i want to fucking five picks half pipe skate okay. rail uh skate rail a couple boards like yeah just yeah that shit it's it's a skate it, it's a skate park that's what yeah. you're drafting it's a skate park so that's I'm drafting five a skate picks park. Are you, drafting, try to start are, are you employing anybody to no, work? At, no, it's a or skate what? park. What am I talking about? It's what are you talking park. about? It's a skate park. What am I talking about? Okay. All right. So, Dono, you and I have a little bit of room to play without Dadley now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what that means for me is I'm going to start two right moving now. towards... Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, what that means for me... And I'm going to move away from, like, furniture now. Because we're reaching that part of that list where there's going to be, like, more to be thought of. 
like mm -hmm. I want to kind of fill out the rest before this break with like one topic mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure what topic I want that to be if I'm filling up a museum of things that are important to me things that I want people to remember or things that I want to own then another aspect of that has to be another aspect of that has got to be like okay you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have an arboretum what is that i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make a lost chaos made a my... good point cereal for your wall no Those... he said he'll go and buy them as needed yeah, oh okay i'm gonna fill up that wall as i need it i'm not gonna magically okay. draft something that i can like yeah. do that like you mm -hmm. know I know that Dadley yeah. went on a whole palette of all these specific things because those, yeah, but those are pretty, were specific. Yeah, those are very specific. I would just be like going out to the store and filling it up as like as I see fit. And it's not all going to be cereal. It's going to be like it's going to be little like it's going to be M&Ms and Skittles and bubble gum and stuff like that, too, is going to end up in that wall. You know what I mean? Oh, this is a good fucking song. OK. Oh, yeah. Um. I'm gonna have a museum quality PA system. <laughs> I forgot the PA system. Uh, and it's not gonna be like it doesn't have to be like surround sound, but it has to at least be. So here's what I thought about this. We're closing in five minutes. Yeah, like... but there's there's that, but there's also like there are these specific speakers that are directional sound speakers where the sound inhabits a cone of space underneath the speaker and nowhere else like yes. you okay so yeah. those hang above each like exhibition above each piece above each like thing and like broadcast like something about that section you know whatever i would create all that there's no need to drop that but yeah i'm getting that museum quality pa pa uh pa I'll say PA and um, directional speaker system. Oh, it fits. Good. And then immediately after that, now I'm going to fill out my Arboretum. So, what is the upper limit that y'all are willing to give me of the amount of trees I can fit into one pick for one species of tree? Um, oh, just like one specific speed, like I want birch trees? Yeah, yeah. If I were to say I want some birch trees in my arboretum, like how many are you willing to fit into one pick of some Five? trees? Five trees? Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Does that so sound fair, I will Donald? Say, yeah, that's fine. I will say paper birch trees because mm -hmm. they don't grow too well here in Tennessee, but I want some. And they're going to be tended for. I'm going to say that each one of these assumedly is going to be taken care of like professionally to make sure it doesn't like die because I know okay, that so I'm you not going to be able, Yeah. I'm I, I, this employee that's going to be drafted with paper birch is going to take care of all of my subsequent trees. Okay. Hopefully. And yeah. I will I will make sure they yeah, do you it want right. An I'll, make, I'll give yeah. it a, I'll give them 100k to do it. Wow. Okay. I want to make yeah. sure that it's done right. If I have mm -hmm. five million to play with, I want to make sure it's done right. And I haven't even yeah. reached a quarter of you know one. What? Up my guy's salary to 100K as well. Oh, okay. There you okay, go. I got it. Yeah. yeah I want good weed. We have five <laughs> million to play with, and we have hardly. You did 1.4 for your floors. But I know, but I still have like 1.5. The only person yeah. you've employed is 100K. And Dadley yeah. hasn't employed anybody. Like, yeah. which and is I don't plan on it. Which is kind of incredible. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So you have a pick, and then uh, it'll go back and forth Shit, between you and it. me for a while. Okay. Bit, unless so you I have do to do this one pick. first. It's because I think Dadley might have it on his list, but I want it first. I oh. want a foam pit. Oh. I have been attacked. <laughs> <laughs> like the pit that you jump into and it's full yes. of like the foam cubes like for and balls stunts, and stuff yes. like that. Yes, like for stunts and stuff like that. I'd have it okay. close to my gym. I have the been devil is, 
The devil is in the salted. The devil is in the details. How big do you want this foam pit to be? Um, I will say probably like I'll say like fifty foot in length. Fifty. 50 by like 50 by 50 foot sound good 50 by uh let's say 20 or like longer so like yeah. that's a long 50 by 20. yeah so like someone can like go. do stunts into it there you go and stuff and we can get a little creative right. with it but yeah but not like meant to be too crazy it's more like gymnastics and stuff see now i'm thinking see what happens when i let y'all be like i'll go with the flow and i'll just get you guys to do a big bulk like you I lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, the mean part of me wants to start going after things that I think are going to be on Dadley's list <laughs> to make well, him well, pay. Well, I'm well, I'm stuck. While you're stuck, <laughs> but I I don't. But I've got to fill out my arboretum, so I'm gonna have. And I know I'm gonna I'm gonna say that because of the nature of this tree it's going to be different i'm going to say that i want a a, a great sequoia uh, and that's just going to be like one tree what's so great about it um because it's one of the largest trees in the world yeah no just, yeah. what's so great about it <laughs> all right donald um i want a voice recording studio it doesn't have to be a big one but like yeah, you that's can a, set up a nice a recording studio. That's like at least two picks, though, right? Yeah, it is. That's computer fine. and yeah. That's like, why I did the foam pit first because I wasn't sure how many picks this was gonna take. Okay. It, and I'll hire somebody for a hundred k. Okay. Fully equipped recording studio. And then if another you're hiring hundred, somebody, and then another hundred k for a professional like audio engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds all right. I like it. I like it. All right. I'm going to fill out my Arboretum a little bit more with my last pick before Dadley is let free again. Um, I will have um, some nice Western Aspen trees. The with the ones that Ooh. get the yellow, the ones that get the yellow leaves in the in the fall. Yeah. are like beautiful i saw them when i went out to utah and i've always wanted to own one ever since and then dadley it goes back to the you. ones that have like the eyeball on it right oh it goes back to me Hippie. Yes. Hippie. the aspen tree is the one that has like the eyeball on it right like it's not got like things that look like eyeballs um i think maybe okay you only need one of those because every single one of them is attached to each other. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no, you have a point that their root because systems they can are very grow well massively. Yeah, yeah they're they, all their connected. root systems connect together. They become yeah. I'll I'll say like one western western aspen tree, um, like like grouping. I don't know. Yes. D the, uh, like uh, yeah. yeah. You have yeah. a point. Yeah. Uh, so for my next pick, uh, we're just going to go a bright orange leather couch. All right. It's like old school zoomies. Zoomie, every single zoomies in America at one point oh, had yeah. a bright orange leather couch. There you go. And I feel like my indoor what skate park needs that? <laughs> What? I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, now I'm gonna have five, uh, Japanese cherry trees. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to fill up probably the last couple ones. I am gonna do a, uh, mini skate park. So I can be able to teach my kids and, like, just have launching oh, ramps. A children's, like a children's I skate park. I mean, it wouldn't like it's just a mini nah, skate park, so a mini ramp. Miniature. It's lit they're literally called mini ramps, but I want them yeah. to be mini able to be moved park. around and such. Yeah. So yeah. like, sure. Mobile mini skate park. Mini skate park equipment, so that yes. it can. Be so moved like, around. obviously, there's like a mini yeah, uh, like quarter pipe or half pipe. Yeah, sure. And then there's like launching ramps and like yeah, uh, you can. Uh, uh, like Sounds like three picks to fill out the rest. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. All right. Do not. Deadly. 
Uh, a collapsible tennis slash pickleball net. Thank just, you. just something else for people to do in the open area. Like I said, this was a park and rack. Didn't always have to be a skate park. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a great banyan tree. Now, okay. banyan trees are super cool. They're like these big twisty, like old and super like rooted and like really cool trees. I like them a lot. Um, but they they also grow pretty huge. Like they're yes. pretty huge, like width wise. Uh, uh, a palette of orange Gatorade. <laughs> we're back to the palettes for the stuff it's in the back skate to park. A all right, and with my last pick, with my last pick before the break, uh, I will finish off this arboretum. I will finish off this arboretum with an assortment of wildflowers from the Great Plains states because I love the flowers that I saw when driving through the Great Plains states. And that takes us to our first draft break. We have done 40 picks each. Yes. And now 40 down, 60 to go. <laughs> We're definitely not doing this in one episode. <laughs> we can make it to the second break in one episode. Hope Hopefully. We've Hopefully. done two hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Donna, what time are you wanting to go to bed? Is the question. Freaking ten. <laughs> Freaking ten. So in thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yes. So where are we at right now? We're at nine. Uh, uh, we are. So uh, how about we try to get to fifty, and we'll yes. call it instead of taking a break. We'll try to get to fifty. Yeah, we'll get. Like I'm okay with that. Like let's hurry. Okay. Do fifty. Let's not do like I need a little bit of a break because my son's wanting some help. Not oh, really okay. Quick. So, so you let's still take need a like break. A five minute. Five minute. Uh, yeah. And then we'll try to get to fifty, and then call it a night. Yes. All right, never mind. Let's do this. Let's do this then. Uh, so take a little quick five minute, and then I'll be right back. Four hundred and ninety-eight. Okay. No, I'll not right that back. direction. Uh, Forty-nine. <sighs> there we go. All right, you do you, Donna. Go. Be free. All right. It's going well so far. Yeah. And then next time, here's what I'll probably do. Set this up so that next time the break comes at pick 25. Yeah. Like right there. And then yeah. move. Or, hmm. It needs to go there. So that move up. And then copy and paste that there, and that turns into <sighs> 25. There we go. All right. Sounds good. Man, I honestly thought that this was going to be like... I thought, I thought we would be, A, moving a little faster than this, and B, able to get through more of this in one episode. Yeah. Kind of why I wanted to start a little earlier than normal, but I didn't specify that. No, I wish you... I did yeah. crockpot dinner tonight. I, I wish you would have texted me. I would have been able to, like, just put it in a little bit earlier and be all good to go. Yeah. But we can make this into two parts. That's fine. Yeah, not the end of the world. It kind of it kind of messes up that I wanted the next episode to be Dapper Millionaire. Unless we, we could do... do that and then come back to this. No, hang on a minute. If we have time this week, I then we can do part two of the Mega Dapper Draft before Dapper Millionaire. I'm on, on spring break, so I, d I know it seems like I have time, but I don't because I'm going to a couple concerts and taking the kids up to Boston. Right. So right. let me let me take a look at my schedule, and then we can talk to Donald about it as well. Yeah. It could be like on a Wednesday or a Thursday, like this Wednesday, this Thursday, something like that. 
Yeah. Depending on time. The music you found is solid. Yeah, this is another different uh this is another different uh album from the same artist. This is the album called Supreme. This is the hype tracks. Ooh. I'm feeling fucking hyped. Actually. I kind of want to move on to this album that's called Ignition. I just turned on the ignition. Oh, is that by somebody I can't sing anymore? I don't remember who sings that. I don't remember either. Are we on break or are we just on stream still? We're on like, stream chilling? because I thought that oh, we were going to like... <laughs> we're on stream okay. because I thought that we were like, oh, but Dono is Good taking a break yeah. to do his kids. Hey, it's fine. I'm going to go get myself a quick glass of water then while sure. we have a second. Yeah. Just Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll send us to a quick break then. Just Okay. We'll come back from it when we get back. So don't go yeah. anywhere. Stick around. We're going on a quick break. We'll be right, we'll right back. Be right back. Yoink. Hello. How's it going? It's gone. Just waiting for Dippy. Huh? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I'm fucking feeling it. I'm tired. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna do a two-parter 100 episode. Which is fine. I Fair. I couldn't hear you. What? I'm going to do a two-parter, 100th episode. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, try to just crank through the next 10. 11. Absolutely cranking my hog. All right, we ready? All right. Hello, and welcome back. So... Dippy, uh, you didn't mute us again. No, I, I did the desktop audio so they could hear the Ignition album, but then that means that they could hear you too. Oh, well, warn somebody next time. Please. <laughs> I'm going to start <laughs> talking about feet again. Mm -hmm. 
All right. We got 11 more to go before we're going to call it for the day. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to get it done in 20 minutes. Yep. So we have 10 picks left to get halfway through the mega draft of 100 things. Yes. Uh, and right now we're back on a clean slate. We're back on a slate of... Uh, we're just we have the same order nobody's picks are getting yeah. skipped or anything like that All right. so dad uh, yeah i'm gonna just round out my parks and rec really quick with uh one of those old school pump action bb guns like the ones that you just pump up and they can mm. fucking hurt if you just keep pumping them damn all right a red rider not nah, yeah I was like about red to say, rider red bb rider. guns yeah Bolt action or <laughs> pump action BB gun? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's like, yeah, that's fine. All right. Now, there is a section of this museum that, funnily enough, it is related to Dadley's pick. Uh, there is a Ooh. section of my museum that is going to be an armory of weapons and tanks or weapons and vehicles that I okay. want in this museum not necessarily operational not necessarily you know to be used on a shooting range or anything like that at all these are just weapons that at some point in my life I would like to have and or be able to use but for the purposes of this list they are all non-functional so for starters I gotta have an FNFAL, a classic like 1960s FNFAL, uh, operational battle rifle for many European forces in the 60s, during even during the Cold War, it was mm -hmm. great. It was fucking great. One of my favorite rifles, and I need to own one like yesterday. So yeah. that's I'm starting to fill out an armory here. Okay, Dono. All right. I need mm -hmm. a, and I'm going to make it so, like, you know, if Dadley has a choice, he can not do this. I am going to do a mass assortment of Enjoy brand uh, skate decks. Okay. Yeah, just a bunch like of skateboards. decks. Yeah. Like skateboards. Like, I want yeah. them all together, but, like, it's the decks that I want. And then we yeah. can You said Enjoy brand? Yes, brand. Yes. Sure. Them and Zero are pick. some of my favorites. That sounds yeah. like one. Joy makes a solid deck. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All right. Dadly. All right. Uh, we're moving on to the next part of my warehouse. That is the garage. Here's all the vehicles I want. Oh. These are just the next 10. Oh, no. Just all the vehicles I want. Oh, no. I'm going to right. have to pivot. Uh, gray 1971 Ford Mustang. It's what Nicolas Cage drove in night, uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. Damn. 1071, 1971 gray Ford Mustang. Yep. Fuck, I'm going to have to pivot, aren't I? <laughs> because I have vehicles that are going to end up on my list, too. I don't know. Are if you I'm a speaking, Fast if, and Furious fan? If, if I'm speaking on generic vehicles there are only a few because i know there are several specific ones that i'm going to have that you are not going to think of every single one of my vehicles is like a like a movie specific like vehicle. an iconic movie vehicle right yes well some of mine are actually video game specific weirdly enough huh but there are ones that i definitely okay i'm gonna i'm gonna have to pivot off of armory oh, and shit. into I'm gonna have to pivot into the garage to make sure that none of these get taken. I'm gonna have a 1970 uh orange Dodge Challenger. Reminiscent of of um Fox's The General face. Lee? Not the General Lee, no. Like a gold orange. Um so there's a video game called Driver San Francisco. Um, okay. And the detective in that drives a golden orangey yellow Dodge Challenger, a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Okay. And it's 
fucking gorgeous and it's i want I'd, it i want it very bad would you say that this excludes me from getting another 1970 dodge challenger because that's on my list for my completely different movie he's got it specific so you know <laughs> have gone specific it's a, enough it's a different color <laughs> you know what i'm feeling nice okay all right we'll cross that bridge when we get there Okay. Dono, you're up. Dono. 1967 Chevy Impala from the, the Supernatural series. With good pick. The authentic guns and like everything in it. So like no. Nah, that nah. that's at least two spots then. The guns as well. With guns? Well, yeah. With like, you know, like basically the equipment that they had within it. Yeah. So like authentic yeah, to decked the out. actual series. Yeah. So decked out. So yeah, you can do two spots. Fuck it. I'll give two spots for my wife's car. That's two. <laughs> okay. Yep. 1968. Okay. Uh, 1969 Dodge Challenger. Orange. With the Confederate flag on it. It's the General Lee. Is that a Challenger or is it a Charger? Sorry, it's a Charger. I even have it written as a okay. Charger. I would just... Yeah. That, then, and yeah. so is then my, my other problem. pick is also a Charger. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. All right. We're good. We're good. If you want the General Lee, just say you want the General Lee and you can have the General Lee. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, General Lee. I want the General Lee. The General okay, Lee. Okay, then that's gonna that's gonna I'll I'll slim down some of my list then. 1969 Dodge Charger. There you go. Alright. Hi right, Danger Bacon. We are doing a one hundred pick draft pick. It's something that we do on this channel. Danger Bacon. Japanese. So good to see yeah. you. Danger Bacon. Yeah, essentially, uh, we all have our own them. warehouses. We're just drafting the things we want in our warehouse for a hundredth mm -hmm. episode. It is silly. It is weird. <laughs> if yeah. I go back up to the top of the list, you'll see that I Dadly is fashioning his off of a fantasy factory, at, uh, i.e. in the style of Rob Deerdeck. I am making a museum of me, and Dono is making a vibe spot. It's just filled mm -hmm. of, with things that match Dono's vibe. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Thank you. <laughs> if we're. Oh. Hmm. Do I? Do I? 20 minutes, Dippy. Go. Do I? <laughs> I, I take. I'm gonna take the the 1980 the 1988 DeLorean. Okay. Ooh. I'm taking the DeLorean. I I specifically didn't put it on my list because I thought somebody else would. Oh, okay, good. I uh, right, for my for next. Uh, oh, we're just going up a year. 1970 Dodge Charger RT. I uh, blacked out Dom's car from Fast and Furious. Damn. Which really threw me off that basically Dom in the Fast and Furious is driving the General Lee. Yeah. Mm. There you go. There you go. Dom's, Dom's right. right. All right. Um. Hmm. Fuck, oh, man. I gotta have the I gotta have the 2019 I gotta have the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Totally fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh in white with orange stripes. No, white with blue stripes. Go MTSU. Oh my god, there's one for sale by me. Really? What, what a 1970 Dodge Charger RT? Uh, not 1970, but a, a Dodge uh, Charger Hellcat. RT. A Dodge yeah. Hellcat. Oh, a Challenger Hellcat. A yeah. Char a Charger Hellcat. Huh, mm -hmm. there you go. 72 All right. grand. All right. Okay. Dunu. Okay. Mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm. So I've got a monster truck. I've got a car. I've got my wife's car. Mm -hmm. I've got a box truck. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Um, I want. I want a water slide. Okay. A water slide. Any specific yeah. kind of water slide? 
Um, literally just like a tarp that's covered in water and soap that like stretches. You want a tarp? Along... Like, you want a tarp when you can get an actual water slide? Okay, fine. I'll get an actual water slide, but like a really nice one. Actually, I want a water slide, like, like Anything? the baseball field water slide thing. Baseball field. Never mind. Let... No idea. Have you guys not oh, seen? Oh, like, like what people ball? use for like kickball? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Kickball slip and slide. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Kickball slip and slide. So it's like an activity. I've done that. It's so much fun. Me and my friends used to do it. A kickball slip and slide. Got yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, Paul Walker's car from the Fast and Furious. Uh, 2000 Nissan one? Skyline oh. R35 G GTR. I'm uh. <laughs> oh, sorry, R34, oh, but yeah, GTR. Yeah. Good. 2013 McLaren. P1. That, uh, yep. <laughs> Did I actually take one? Did I? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yes. I fucking love the McLaren P1. I have, that is my dream supercar is a McLaren P1. Oh. Dippy, you um, took it down to the color. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, they're so fucking cool. They're fucking amazing. Dono. I want myself an ATV. Hell yeah. Hell like yeah, in, brother. Uh, Any with, yeah, brother. Like I want like one that has like the racks on the front of it so you can be able to strap things to it. The Polaris. And shit like that. Yeah, Polaris. Yep. Polaris ATV. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like Oregon. it. Dead I, Adam West's Batmobile. Hell yeah. Uh, 1955 yeah. Lincoln Futura concept car. That's literally what it's called. It took me forever. Lincoln Futura? Futura. Yeah, concept car. Spell it. Because it was never actually a car. Oh, uh, F-U-T-U-R-A. Yeah, Futura. Yeah, that's what I yeah. said. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oops. It's the best Batmobile and I'll argue with anyone that says otherwise. That's very fair. Okay. 1965. Uh, Ford GT. Mm. Okay. Just the original okay. yeah. GT. The yeah, one that totally rolled fair. along. Um, I think it was I'm going. I'm going to choose a uh, fully realistic wart, Halo Warthog. You son of a bitch! Ah, oh, <laughs> fuck. That was going to be one on my list at some point. I yep. damn it. I was like, I gotta get weird with these because you guys are getting way too specific. <laughs> No, that's okay. awesome. Okay. And to if you're going to thinking, oh, it's not real. Someone absolutely made a yes. real one. Oh, yeah. I'm not looking at pictures ago. of them right now. Not too it was on ago. an episode Someone of like made, Ghostbusters, yeah. I believe. Someone made an absolutely <laughs> yep. real one, and it was fantastic. All right. Dadly. I, 1986 Kawasaki GP790, or not, sorry, 900R. I 19, just sent it what is Zoom. it? I, 1986. 1986. Kawasaki. Kawasaki GP7 7 Jesus Christ I'm getting tired G, GPZ 900R That's uh, Tom Cruise's motorcycle I was about to yeah. say that's a pretty Yeah Tom good Cruise's bike. motorcycle from Top Gun Oh uh, nice Okay Give me the original Thrust SSC Okay the the supersonic car uh, with the two jet engines on it and just mm -hmm. let me just smash that thing into the side of my warehouse and just fucking yeah. enjoy every second I was I was worried that I kickstarted your brain into thinking of a motorcycle no because my next pick is one of like my favorite picks in the whole draft oh okay um I want the Tron bike dope Fucking dope. I wish I thought of that. <laughs> okay. That is awesome. There are real street legal yes. ones made. Yes, there, there are. are. Okay. 
Fair enough. I was about to say I was going to invoke real, but if it's real, mm -hmm. then absolutely. I'm literally yeah. looking at pictures of it. There you go. <laughs> right now. All, All right. right, Dadley. Hit me. I sincerely one of my favorite picks of the whole draft. Sure. Bright yellow, 2002, Kawasaki ZZR250. ZZR250. Yeah, it's the bike from Kill Bill. Ah, yeah, is. you know what? Yeah, that's fair. One of my favorite picks in the whole draft. Love that bike um, to pieces. Um, I would have to look it up. I would have to look up the bike that I want. Um, Google, show me that man's balls. <laughs> Google, show me this guy's balls. <laughs> Okay. Wow, that is like... Okay, no, I've got it. I'm just going to type it out exactly as I see it here. Dude, uh, that was my issue with motorcycles. They don't have easy names. 2004 like... Honda CBR 1000 Double R Fireblade Fireblade Repsol AKA What is this? House's bike from house md oh. Nice. oh shit another thing i wish i thought of damn it <laughs> that's such a good pull this is a bike that i eventually plan on actually buying but okay. it's a little bit out of my price range right now um a 2000 watt electric chopper motorcycle dot uh, Two, uh i'm sorry it, 2000 watt electric chopper motorcycle it, i believe it goes up to like 60 miles an hour but it's completely street legal. Uh, you do not have to register it. And it go. looks dope as fuck. Yeah. And also, I don't have to fix an engine. <laughs> That's totally valid. Like, I... Here, I'll send a picture of what it looks like. I love that. It looks good, right? I yeah. don't know if I do it in for that an electric color. Bike. I think thank yeah. you, thank yes. you, thank you, House MD Wiki, for uh, providing yeah. the name of House's motorcycle because I never would have gotten it in Ooh. a million years. Uh, I think last, I might get it in blue. <laughs> my last motorcycle is a gray Yamaha XT250. I, under no circumstance, could find an exact year of the bike used in Rambo. Mm. Oh Rambo. my god. Nobody could fucking tell me the name of this bike or the year of this bike. There you go. Hmm. All right. And that's your last bike. I don't think that I'm going to get any more bikes. I don't think. I have two more cars, but that's my last bike. Oh, I got to think about what cars Dadley would want. I mm. the, the last two cars are my personal. I want to own these cars in my lifetime. Right. Yeah. So what would those be? <laughs> hmm. Are you an antique car kind of guy? Are you one of those guys that wants to own like a really old like not that old. No. Not that old? Okay. I How mean old? like old enough to drink, but so like not brand new. Okay, but... fair enough. Fair enough. There's not like in don't I don't be mean. like say in the last <laughs> What do you mean don't in the be last... mean? All right, fine. In the last decade, I have not been excited about a car coming out. Like, you know something? I would actually really like to have one of the long, one of the nice like long body. Uh, I think it. I think it would be like a 1972. I'll just call it. Uh, Lincoln okay. Continental. Yes. Uh, Lincoln Continental Cruiser. Just like my mom the used to own nice one of those. horn, nice. like the Longhorn Texas built fucking. I Lincoln love, Continental yeah, cruisers. I love the old school Continentals. That's yes. pretty fucking, yeah. All right, done. All right, I'm gonna get weird. 1957 Lamborghini Lamborghinata tractor. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what is it called? What was the name of it? The Here, I'll <laughs> it's a Lamborghinata. Ooh. So it's Lamborghini, but instead of an I at the end, it's E T A or E T T A. Lamborghinata? Yeah, Lamborghinata. Yes. Uh, Lamborghinata it's tractor. E, yeah. It's the original e -T -T -A. Lamborghini tractor. Yes. Yeah. Were, like so like a bit of history there. And okay. just I I like the fact of like, oh yeah, I own a Lamborghini, but it's a fucking 
tractor. Yeah, it's a fucking yeah. tractor. But it's like yeah. it's a tractor that's worth a shit. It's a tractor that's a piece of history. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And at my work, you know Lamborghini still makes tractors, right? I dude, did not. Lamborghini. Yeah, they yes, they do. And tractors. I'm looking at it, and they're expensive. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> because they're really good they're, tractors. Yeah. yeah, ones for fifty grand. Tractor. It's not even a big one. <laughs> um, but. All right. I think it would be very fun. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Deadly. Uh, my first of my dream cars. This is not any, nobody's going to be like, oh, that car. But I just want one for my soul. A 1998 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it's like the top year of Wranglers. Yeah. What? I think that's cute. That's, oh, okay. That's, that's just, just so like. There's something I really the nice dream about dream car and I think of like. Ford GT, like a muscle car, supercars, hypercars, just like things that I will never own. Dream car, and then you say dream car, and you say a 1998 Jeep Wrangler. I, I know we're trying to make this it's quick, so but really cute. quick. My dad had like like a vision board at one point in time mm. that only had a picture of a Jeep Wrangler on it. <laughs> Honestly, and Jeeps and, are fun to, like, drive. Yes! Like, they are fun. So, ever since I was a kid, I'm like, I just want an old-school Wrangler. Like, my next car is a little more unattainable. But, like, shit, having a dream car as a Wrangler is actually a very achievable dream. Like, mm -hmm. a I 2009 would, honestly, Lime Green Lamborghini Aventador SV. If I had yeah. the money, I would get myself, like, a Jeep or a freaking... Yeah. Like, my brother has... Uh, a navigator i think it is or something like that it's oh like i don't like navigators little, but yeah uh i know what you mean i'll have to I, it's i yeah. don't think it's a navigator but like he used to own a navigator and yeah great jono uh but he has something else uh yes we got two more picks and then we're done um with this episode. i am gonna do garages of ours can i have okay you guys are still going on cars i want a giant like you can do something else rubber ducky <laughs> <laughs> like a 20 foot tall giant rubber ducky 20 foot you know what tall. no 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 wait i let's change it from a rubber ducky i want a 20 foot large just beanbag uh snorlax oh yes absolutely yes. all right uh, with a, and, uh, and for <laughs> oh yeah no I'll add it with my next thing. Deadly, okay. take us home. And, yes, the last of my cars and my pinnacle, my top dream car. I think about this car literally every single day of my life. 1963 Stingway Cor Corvette with a gold finish. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, you know, I will say this now that it's been picked and now that I can't pick it, I am not that big of a Corvette guy. Like I'm not, I, I don't go super I'm crazy about either. Corvettes. I'm not either, but I love the Stingrays. That's... I love the Stingrays so much. It's the only Corvette I yeah. really enjoy. All right. Well, with that kind of out of the way, my last, I, I have more that are gonna come later, but they're very specifically like yeah. these things and they're tied to like, they might may or may not be tied to sports. So uh, those will come later. I will now hop back into my armory tree uh, that I was gonna say, <laughs> because the tour got rushed along from armory to garage because all of a sudden Dadly yeah. pivoted to garage. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> this is the garage. And I had to come back. So the next piece of my armory, nice and simple, it's gonna be a 1990s, uh, I don't, I can't think of any specific year. It's gonna be a Steyr Aug. The AUG is literally one of the best combat rifles ever made, and I want one. I, I need one. Give it to me. It, <laughs> that, that's it. All right. It might be, it um, actually might be 80s. I'm not entirely sure. All right, and last but not least, Dono, bring us home with the last pick of the first half of the draft. I want an indoor lap pool. Fuck yeah. An indoor lap pool. Yes. Like a good size pool that like you, I, it lap like, like you're I taking laps in it. Like laps, like what you would see at like the like 
uh what is it uh the <coughs> not the event center the uh the rec center activity the rec center basically with like the diving board not uh, um like the different side like one's like the smaller diving board with the bigger and then there's the bigger one a swimming now, but pool. like a basic swimming indoor pool an indoor in-ground swimming pool i'll say that it goes as deep as like 15 feet is that good okay. enough? I think that's going to bleed better. into another pick in the next that's episode. That's fine, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine by me. Yeah. I'm going to jump start on the new on the All right. And that, my friends, leads us to the end of part one. I thought, I thought we would fit this into one massive episode, but that was my fault for not timing this properly. So, uh, tune also, in. we get debating. <laughs> Tune in sometime in the next... In the near future. In the near future uh, mm. for part two of the 100th episode spectacular of the Mega Dapper Draft where we close out our 100 two, pick two, two, draft with the top 50 of our Dapper yeah. Draft picks. Uh, and we will see you relatively soon you'll see us tomorrow i mean for we'll crossroads. see us tomorrow you'll see us tomorrow yeah. you'll see all three of us tomorrow for crossroads but after yeah. that point you'll see us again for this part two of this episode probably soon after that if yeah if we have to make it the next episode in place of what i wanted the next episode to be that's fine um but we'll let's try to find some time in the coming week to we also have to like do another part of dream Den. We do oh have yeah, to get we back should. To dream we, Daddy. we gotta finish that. Yeah. Up. So I you'll be seeing more dream of us. Daddy. Yes. You'll be you'll be seeing more of us. We just have to. This takes top priority because this is like a finished concept yeah. that we need to complete the yes. concept. Sure. Dream Daddy. We don't know how much longer that's gonna take, but we do need to get back to it as well. And yeah. the, uh, you'll see what the next few episodes will be. So. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, until next time, do we have any life advice? It's okay if your dreams are small. It just means they're attainable. Um, no, that, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty good. Um, if you got a... If you gotta pull the trigger on obtaining a dream before somebody else gets to do it, don't be afraid to. Don't be afraid to fail. Fail a hundred times. Get not comfortable with failing. Because mm. you're going to. You're gonna fail. But you're also, you're gonna succeed and you gotta fail to succeed. There you go. That's pretty good. So, tune in next time when we complete this 100 mega this 100 pick mega draft of dapper things and i've been dippy i've been dadly and i'm almost always dono but sometimes i go by a secret not alternative name that i will not tell you because it's secret and it's alternative <laughs> until, that's fair and until next time your adventure matters uh stay dapper and roll your initiative. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.